Welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity, session 66. It is the 31st of August 2020. I'm Ryan the GM. Here are the players. What up? It's your boy Alex coming at you live from 2020. <laughs> it's a mess. And I'll be playing Weird, the Android Mechanic. You do? Yeah! Yeah! Uh, also, yes, hello. Uh, hi, I am Colin, and uh, I will be playing Lyco, and he will be um, probably shooting people. Fair. Yes. Hello. Hello. Nico. Make, make, make this last in t uh, a while. Hello. <laughs> hi. My name is Nico. And I am stalling for time. Why am I stalling for time? Keep going. Well, no! I, I mean, don't believe you. I've been told to, so I keep not going. Uh, you, you don't have your tie five ready. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have my what ready? Your tie five. Tight five, uh, yeah, sure. It's tight five. Tight five. Tight five. Yeah, your five minute stand up comedy prep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no. Everyone's got their tight five. <laughs> I mean, I kind of just talk and then people laugh. No, I, I mostly would just rant about something. Eh. Uh, what do I have to rant about? Kind of. What you want? Easy. Everything. I'm pretty content, I. 2020 has just been the perfect year for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 2020 didn't do it. Good ways. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So it will be years to find things to complain about. Mm -hmm. Everybody will be complaining about 20 hours, eh? You know what The year of the world set on fire. I, I would go so far as to say I found it boring. Mm. It's, yeah, that's basically been a big problem. I, I might feel differently if I lived in Kenosha. Mm. Uh, yeah. But, uh, I definitely did not hear Genosha there. Or, or Genosha. Genosha. Yeah. Genosha. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I definitely didn't hear either of those. Um, nope. I was like, what's up with the mutants now? Is literally what my brain was thinking there. And I was like, nope, this isn't an X Men reference. Oh, okay. There's, there's all sorts of bullshit going on with the mutants. Mm -hmm. um, Although they. Also, they haven't resurrected Jean again this year, have they? So that's probably the only no, good thing. They have resurrected other people, but Jean is sort of alive anyway, so I think if someone's sort of alive anyway, they just kind of go, ah, fuck it, that's good enough. Yeah, and I feel like maybe that's what jinxed 2020. It was the bullshit with Jean, right? Like, the timeline was a bit like, like hmm, look, maybe. We, 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 could, we could resurrect the body of the original Jean from the proper timeline, but we've got something that's basically the same thing, and do we really want two Jeans running around? You mean we've, we've dealt with that recently? Yeah, I was gonna say we, we've we've done two genes and it was boring. Do we need this in our lives? Probably not. We didn't need Gene back in our lives. Sometimes it's I nice mean, to I, have a character. I would just generally agree with that statement, no matter what. But other people differ. Like I'm a I'm a very big Jean Grey fan, but I liked that she did her redemption arc. She died, and then that was kind of the you know that point of reference they had was remember that time that happened and. That's a consequence. Move on. Stay dead. Yeah, and technically she has, but I hate that you need to say technically because yeah, they cheated around that. It's not really <laughs> the main timeline version of her anymore, even though it originally was. Yeah. It isn't now. And that's because they did stuff the timeline that made it not the real timeline. Anymore. Mm -hmm. So, uh, everybody, welcome to Starfinder, the podcast about the X Men mistakes comics. And then Deadpool was sad because mm -hmm. he was old. Also, oh, Nico, do you just do your intro anyway? <laughs> I, think I, think, I think he's back. Yeah, yeah, yes, apologies. You are. You should be. Um, Hello. Apologies. Yep. You should be a friend. Hi, sharp call. Hi. You had your moment. No. Hi. Hello. I'm Dick. I'm Dick. I'm Dick. I'm Dick. I'm Hi there, I'm Callum, and uh, I'll be playing Zig, the mystical space rat from the sun in the past. Uh, just so you know, we're not in the future, 
and in that, the present. Well, that's exactly you know, five minutes, everywhere. guys. That's ex that, that was no, we're now five seconds into it, but that was five minutes that we managed to do that. So well done, folks. Well, well, well done. Um, it was really play. funny because I was like, I'm really annoyed the doctor hasn't phoned me today. Oh, man. And it's like, as soon as you went, three, <laughs> two, one, go. And I was like, oh, for flip's sakes, man. So uh, my GM powers are extended into connecting doctor calls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, GM to GP pipeline. Yeah, that's um, it, yep. Are you alright then, Cal? Is everything going okay? Everything is hunky dory. Nothing falling off. Brain um, transplant. Not yet. <laughs> um, we'll how, find out. Tomorrow. How hunky are we talking? Because, you know, yeah. I, I have some interests in the hunky dory. Maybe not so much dory. But uh, hunky, um, well, I, I will give you the full rundown tomorrow once. once Excellent. I know Good. What's, what's up? Will well, hunky dory be appearing in Finding Nemo 3? Hopefully. Um, mm -hmm. I, no, I think, I think they're getting their own spin off. Um, Oof. So there's, I think it's been like just Nemo given to a third party um, company, so it might be mm, a bit iffy. Is that the one where there's a fish? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, <laughs> session 66, where <laughs> if you didn't expect this bullshit, why are you still here? I continue <laughs> to wonder if I'm hallucinating. Uh, <laughs> um, when, I was up, <laughs> when I was uploading the... Um, like the the video files to YouTube eventually, because um, I realised I hadn't done like sixty four or sixty five, um, so I did them both, and they're now, you know, in the the playlist uh, for Callum's consumption whenever he chooses. I did in fact call sixty four part two special edition in its title as well, like I did announce it apparently during the intro of part two, where I was like, "Yep, it's session sixty four part two special edition," and I don't remember why I did that, but it's there. No. It was special. Yeah, so MD that asks me what that means, there's no answer, and that's why it's special. Moving on. Um, what do you remember from last time? There were greys, and they went uh, through things. Should you be any house on? Uh, <laughs> one of them was like, oh, no, shooty, shooty, and then it tried to knock us out with its brain powers, <laughs> so mm -hmm. shooty, shooty did in fact happen. I didn't realise that yous were not to be trifled with, with brain yes. powers. Yes. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. It's coming out. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm a giant different game, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> this is it. We've, we've hit my peak, I think. Good night, everybody. E execute session it's 66. Like, yes. <laughs> I, I was told actually going to do that for my, my intro, <laughs> and then I forgot. What, what was the Order 67? Okay. Like, kill all It was all. bring Palpatine a chitty latte. <laughs> Start work on a big doom for you, but don't use it for a few films. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Or work on your laugh for a bit in private, right? <laughs> you know, some good old cackling in, in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, I think I'm almost thick enough to pull it off. Also, they are... Let's just have a, another tangent, why not? They're apparently like unpicking loads of the prequels now, as well, apparently. Um, they're going to be doing lots of uh, retcon work to, like, say... There's a character... Well, there's a character from the unused stuff from whatever the original draft of Episode Nine was. I can't remember what his name is. Something Tor or something like that? I can't remember. But um, apparently there's a character, like, let's call him Val Tor, even though that wasn't his Dan name. But he is apparently somebody that was in league with Palpatine, according to whatever this was based on. And they're going to put him all the way back in the prequels to have been working with Palpatine. Um, Everyone has to know each other already. Right. So that's going to be a character they, they want to, like, show in, because they're going to make Palpatine, spoiler alert, anyone that hasn't seen anything, by the way, but they're going to make Palpatine and this guy... Um, have created Anakin by messing with Shmi through the Force, and uh, it was that was that was, that was pretty much implied, right? A lot of people took that as written anyway. But they're basically going to like spin feed you oh, that answer now, right? You thought it was him and Plagueis. Yeah, yeah it was supposed to be Plagueis and Donatus. Well, that's the thing. I don't know why they're not just using Plagueis, right? I don't really get that, but I guess it's because Palpatine had a, a lot of issues with Plagueis. But I kind of want that to be stated if we're getting a retcon. Because I'd like that to be in there, like Palpatine, like, well, Plagueis was an asshole, and I'm a bigger asshole. Like a two-minute monologue explaining the relevance of Snokes. 
No, no, we'll never get that. It'll be after. That'll never happen. Um, Snoke was they were prob- fucking bad. Snoke was the Skywalker. There you go. And then. <laughs> 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 reason. See the idea that a clone went defective and actually got its own mind and like did its own shit. Why not? Right. That's fine. Yeah, but he was clearly in control. Of it, right? I mean, mm, mm, what was he? What I find weird is Rogue One. They go to Vader's Doom Palace. Yeah. Uh, there's a servant of Vader who comes from telling the news, and he does look very Snoopy. Mm. Uh, and he gets an actual voice line. Yeah. I'm like, why? I don't remember what he I, looks like. I'll need to Google him. Let's have a look. Yeah. So Rogue One, because I, I oh, love I Rogue One. Snoke's not as fucked up, but uh, uh, Darth Vader Castle uh, on Mustafar, and let's see what would you call it? Assistant. The lava castle, which is just yeah, like so. I really enjoyed. There's a comic where he goes to get that right. He claims Mustafar for himself, right? And it's because he asks Palpatine. Palpatine's like, "Oh, I'll give you something because you're, you know, you're like my right hand man. You're, you're, you're my G, you know." And he's like, "How about I give you Naboo?" I couldn't think of anything bigger to give you because that's my planet. And then Vader's like, I don't want Naboo. Obviously because Padme. So he doesn't want that. He wants Mustafar because it's a symbol of his failure. So, you know, angry Sith, edgy boys. So he goes there and then he just claims Mustafar and fights the locals and there's other force bullshit that doesn't really matter. But yeah, it's good. So I like that he did that. That was a nice thing to happen. Um... Is there any other words I can type in that will let me see this man's face? Uh, I don't know, I'm just trying to find Yeah. Uh, also, again, people here for Starfinder content, this is the content. There is no yeah. Um, consider yourself that, content. All the weed. <laughs> or consider yourself content. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it worked both ways. You're good. Yeah, um, thank you. You're welcome. You're good, buddy. You're good. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I'll, I'll, while Alex is looking for an image of this man's face, I'll, um, so they're going to do that, so they're going to basically say that Anakin was literally manufactured by dark force energies to have dark side tendencies, right? So they're going to induce pregnancy through dark side of the force to make him a dark side edgy boy, which, and again... In a, because of course the dark side is genetic. Also, that would make sense as to why Anakin would then have programmed in a forbidden Sith language to see 3 people. I mean, no, it wouldn't, because <laughs> language isn't genetic. Mm. So, no, you're forgetting the dark side of the force, Colin. So, see, my take on that, because I had to argue this with somebody, like, why isn't, you know, X, Y, and Z, why, why would he do this as a kid? I'm like, because he, he didn't. He probably just took the processor from another droid. Like, yeah, that's it's already true. got the goddamn programming. <laughs> um, right, okay, let me have a wee sneak peek at this. Um... This is just going to be playing the audio. I'm going to have to mute this so that I don't get mm. sued. Um, Can't believe you've gone and got us all sued. Let's have oh, a look no. at this guy's well, face. I mean, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have any money. There's nothing to tell me for. Do I, I get sued? I don't know if I can... Like, I don't know if I see them being that connected because that guy isn't as weirdly elongated as him. Um, He's not yet. No. But yeah, given the time difference, question. I'm like... Yeah. And he's he's a disciple of Vader of some variety. Who yeah. Is not a representative. I mean, yeah. yeah it's an interesting choice. Isn't it? I suppose, though, if the castle fell to bits after, like, um, you know, the fight, right? Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm on Wikipedia and they've got a bunch of stuff on them. Oh. Comics. <laughs> wow. Like, this is the thing about Star Wars, is most people have, like, relevance. Like Skippy, the Force Sensitive Droid, my favourite character yes. of Star Wars. I actually love that that's a thing. I love it so much. It's just... Uh, oh, they, they, they seem to have... Okay, they've got stuff in the comics before the film, but they don't seem to have anything for him after Rogue One. Um, I quite like the little Lego set of um, Vader's Castle, by the way. Um, I've just oh, yes. noticed. Look at that. Look how cool that is. That is nice. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of funky. Um, yeah, I just... It, it seems weird that they just zoom in on this guy's face and give him a line. Yeah, 
But maybe it was just because no. they, they really liked faces in fun. that movie, because they really do like faces in Rogue One. Yeah. There's a lot of face shots. Um, like It's probably so like, look, we've read the comics and you link someone in. Like, look at this. Like, See, if you took out all of the lingering face shots in that movie, it'd be half as long. I guarantee you. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to rattle. Admittedly, they weren't the most memorable characters in the world, right? But they were doomed characters. It's a good... No, I, I think it's a good movie. I really liked Rogue One. I, I agree. I really mm. it, it's an actual war movie, and that's a start. <laughs> um, it showed the dark side of the rebellion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, see the scene where obviously, what's his face, uh, Stephen's character, um, shoots the uh, guy in the alleyway. Like, Cassian. Yeah, that's it, Cassian. <laughs> is it Cassian Andor? Is that, is it as bad as yeah. that? Oh god, it is as bad as that, yeah. Um, Andor is such a Star Wars name. And, uh, ah, very close to Andar, isn't it? Mm. Um, mm-hmm. So. Or maybe he's just giving you, like, lots of options. So yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and or yeah, and or Cassian, and or one of my aliases. So um, uh, yeah, that, just that scene where he just kills the guy, like yeah, that was, I enjoyed that from a, this is a guy that doesn't necessarily do, the heroic thing. He does the thing that will help him in the war he's in. Um, yeah, it, it kind of shows us that kind of how like we've got this dodgy view of our, the, the Allied side in World War Two that we never did anything fucked up. Mm. That's not the reality that war fucks everyone up on both sides. Yeah, and like it bugs me that they they really like like someone trying to juggle silly putty in the Last Jedi. They tried to have the same idea, right? They really tried to do the same thing. Uh, but actually, the people that sell the arms <laughs> to both the Empire and the rebels are bad because they're really Empire and uh, rich people. Yeah. yeah, that's and the thing is, we got that beautifully in Rogue One with the main, air quote, character male lead guy, shooting a questionably innocent informant. Even Han Solo is, like, Mm -hmm. not a hero. Yeah, I mean... I was going to say, he straight up shot Greedo. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're not... Star Wars started off Mm -hmm. better at this kind of moral and beauty than it is now. I'm I'm sorry to say, because I really like the entire new trilogy. I honestly do. Even that last (laughs) one. Rise of the Return of... Don't worry, folks, we are looking for new cast members. It's... I actually have to say, I, I, I enjoyed them all as well. But I did I did make a comment this weekend that Star Wars is never... No Star Wars film is ever going to be the best in any category other than best Star Wars film. Yeah, agreed. They, 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 there's no little space. And I, w- I would also go so far as to say, it, right, there aren't that many good Star Wars films. So, I mean, it's like... You're... Yeah... So people can have their favourites, right? People will have their favourite Star Wars movies, and that is 100% a separate category to being a good movie. Yes. Yes. And I think, I actually would probably say almost all Star Wars films are enjoyable one way or another. Yeah. Like, like I've spoke to a bunch of you. Maybe the only one I'd say is just... I was about to say that exact thing. Yeah. (laughs) I have Solo. So I've marathoned... I haven't seen Solo. Like, Star Wars a whole bunch of times, and I have found myself skipping Solo a lot. Um, yeah. Not that it's a bad movie, it just didn't need to happen the way it did. I have not seen it, I've not seen Mandalorian either, but I would say... Mando's good. good thing to Mandalorian. Mando's I've actually heard good. mixed things, not necessarily all negative about Solo, I heard a lot of extreme negative I enjoyed things. it when I saw it in the cinema. Like, I went ah, to the cinema yeah. to see it, I enjoyed it, I went with Steven, we had fun, it was a Star Wars, it it didn't really do anything. I Star Wars film that's probably not even entertaining is Attack of the Clones. So, see, I would give Attack of the Clones a watch mostly for the uh, arena fight at the end. I was going to say, I, I like... I don't remember it, is the problem. I really like Camino. I love the entire Camino scene. And yeah. I love it because I, I love the storm really planet. Like, like <laughs> you get your Camino fix from the TV series, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it's done pretty well in the... The problem <laughs> is that we don't really get the beautiful sound effect that I, nobody can r- replicate, which is the seismic charge left to try and take out Obi-Wan. And I love that scene. Yeah. The, yeah. The weird if twang. That, if we can just insert a line at the start of episode two, which is Padme and Anakin have been kidnapped, and then remove all of their plot yep. up until yep. the arena scene. Yep. 
See just that really, really terrible line that's delivered going, Don't worry, we have R2 to protect us, and then R2 trips away, and you know R2 is saying, You fucking dick. I have saved your ass how many times already? Like, like that queen's alive because of me fixing the goddamn shield generator in episode one, bitch. <laughs> like, I, I absolutely hate the, like the absolute shit the droids get throughout the movies. I don't. It's more apparent to see three people who can actually talk back, right? Versus R two, who's just quietly competent at everything. And R two is the chair of the Empire Saga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They yeah. can think. And they have free will. And Everyone just accepts that they're slaves. And, and fine. like the thing I, I always state about what I liked about Last Jedi, look, force projecting to everybody's minds, winks at C3PO when he reacts, which means he fucking has a mind to be force affected as well. That's a huge thing that I actually yeah. think is so overlooked. Like, Either that or they didn't even remember that that was that, a thing they yeah. shouldn't have done. They probably forgot, well, it looks here, so we'll just have C3PO react. It, so it's still, it's still <laughs> right. planning. Right. Whether yeah. or not they did it on purpose, <laughs> they did it. But I like that, right? That's something I took from that. Obviously, that's me applying what I enjoy about Star Wars and the mistreatment of 3PO. And I still love the fact that Luke doesn't say anything to him. He just winks so C3PO doesn't speak back. <laughs> and they don't yeah, get into conversation. The conversation. Saga where there were droids who rebelled against the New Republic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That'd be great That's next. <laughs> so, if that could be the next arc that, like, Taika is working on, yeah. that'd be glorious where it's just C-3PO with the crossbow, like the, um, the bowcaster, oh, like, yeah. like from the art of the, the last movie. If we just had that going, you know... It's just so the comic book where he dressed up as a, a bounty hunter. Yeah, yep. Um, yeah. There's the... Oh, that shadows here or not? It's, um... Yeah. It was like I think that was just like at the start of Disney's like takeover of the comics. I think yeah. um, when they finally like cut off all the old ones. Um, but yeah, like C three PO and R two D two are just they were the entire like, trilogy was designed around them initially, right? Yeah. And that's just something I think that was um, caricatured in the prequels, and then that became and obviously because droids became that thing the kids laugh at for the like the battle droids. Mm -hmm. That then kind of got like catalyzed through the rest and then again I still cannot forgive the last movie, the nine episode nine, when they go, Let me take one last look at my friends. None of these people like QC3PO. None of them. Yeah, right. Cause none of them are your friends. This isn't Leia, Han, Luke, or R2 you're actually staring at. You you basically don't know these people. And they've all the only thing they've ever done is insult you. Anyone is ever that nice to C three PO. Yeah, I know. I know. He really still. never does anything to warrant people's <laughs> reactions to him. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's the pointing out the obvious, and I think that's obviously like it makes sense because Han was always busy trying to keep the ship from falling apart when C-3PO is like rambling about the odds of survival. That makes sense that he'd tell him to shut up. Yes. and he doesn't really. He just kind of points a finger at him to keep him quiet and stuff, right? Whereas, I it's I think it's is it Leia that turns him off in that scene actually because somebody just turns him off. Um, One thing that dressed that I picked up from listening to guys reviewing the books of Star Wars that drastically improves all of Star Wars is to give C three PO a sassy, sarcastic inner monologue mm -hmm. across all of his behaviour. So that all of his awkward shitty behaviour is just him winding them up. Mm -hmm. That yeah. actually massively improved the whole thing. Like that, I would love that if that was something that actually featured in the film. We should record just that, that nine episode track of C three PO. I'm up for that because we could we could also just have our twos like dialogue the way we would oh, want yeah. it to be right as well like no, what what the I, beeps mean. I, I would I would never give R two any actual dialogue because it just. Well, really in that case, all the subtitles will just be ellipsis then. Well, the only thing <laughs> I would possibly do for him is um, give him a Danny DeVito. Up. So what you're saying is paint Danny DeVito. All the subtitles can just be question marks. Oh yeah, like I was just like the fact that R2 is just telling everybody to go fuck themselves. Mm -hmm. Everything, go fuck yourself. Yep. Um, <laughs> if it's R2, go fuck yourself. Yeah, so specifically Danny DeVito from It's Always Sunny. The um. <laughs> so the on to save Attack of the Clones ever so slightly. In the yeah. DVD release, there is um. A mockumentary about R two D 2s drinking problem, and if people <laughs> if people haven't seen this, I really recommend oh, yeah. you watch this because it is all of the actors 
being really serious and deadpan on camera about how R2 was a wreck on set and uh, would turn up with like girls on his arms and just like you know whistle to them and you know right it's just oh it's so good and like yeah it's it's a really funny mockumentary about his drinking problem and I'm like who thought this was this is on like a DVD kids are gonna watch and it's about a character having a drinking problem like Disney would never have signed off on that Um, and the character (laughs) isn't played by Carrie Fisher yeah right wow Wow. So on that note, that Colin threw into the Star Wars conversation, and, I really like Gary. and we're now 20, 25 minutes into the, our game, uh, what do you remember about last time? Grey's. Ah, Grey's. Lots of running around zombies. Um, that was about it, really. Yeah. Hmm? As I, s- as I said to Callum in our brief chat earlier, <laughs> everybody kind of switched jobs for a bit. So we had like... Yeah weird running around uh, a bit like the way the captain would have like haphazardly um, chasing these things we had Lyco being a bit like weird basically like mechanicalizing the doors so he could get through them and then we had uh, the captain being a bit of a Lyco trying to investigate the computers <laughs> and I really enjoyed the random like everybody changed job hats um, <laughs> that, that was funny um, yeah it's good it's really good so I guess we'll see what happens this week. Um, uh, Callum, what do you remember from last time? Um, I remember um, uh, there was I had langoustines, and then I had some like monkfish with some scallops on top. I don't know if this did happen in Starfinder. I like good. Oh, in Starfinder, um, <laughs> there was um, Colin killed a couple zombies. No, like you, I, I really just mean where Zig was. <laughs> oh, where was Zig? Zig was at the sun, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I literally mean what you remember from the last time you played. Of the last time I played. <laughs> I know it's rare that I know it's rare we're serious in this game. <laughs> God, how long ago was that? Um, two seconds ago. Okay, so, well, it was way in the past. Way, way in the past. So, future Zig came over and was like, here, mate, by the way, you'd stop. I mean, you, 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 did, you definitely didn't meet future Zig. That definitely didn't happen. Future Zig wasn't there. He, he did it through an intermediary, like a game of. Um, no, it's when they haven't perfected the having the same actor in the scene without it looking bad, so you have somebody else speak for them. Um, that's what we did. Oh, that's right. No, yes, you're right. The Radiant Supremes. That, no, was the no. Radiant Supreme? Chinese no. telephones. That's what, what I was thinking of. Sorry, People's Republic. Basically, Bill. someone's. Oh no. Um. Ah. Fraud. Isabel. Isabel, that's the one. She was like, "Oh yes, she trapped trapped Zig in that that weird like space and froze everyone except Zig." And it was like, "Oh heck, you're not supposed to be here." And she was like, "Ah, you 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 told me that you would be doing this, and now oh my goodness, you need to not do this because you told me you need to not do this." That's right. Yep. Thank you. Yep. There we go. Good. You're caught up too. Right. So let us <laughs> let us um, just replay the goals that are in place. We currently have, uh, in fact, yeah, Nico, just tell us the goals. Oh, let me tell you the goals. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> tell me what happened to the crew of the Kilari. <laughs> That's a gray and take it back to the ship. Oh my god. You'd be Calamari again. <laughs> or did Kill I just... Calamari. No, I heard Kiva, I heard Kiva Larry. But, like, I love the idea that you have changed the goal to go after another ship because you've quite got a feel for chasing things through ships. <laughs> Go number three. Salvage the ship. Or a significant part. Yes. It's like Four watching Avatar. <laughs> Cut the stewardship and tear crew corpses to be back. And number five. We don't speak about number five. I'm going to tell us about goal five. <laughs> <laughs> well. This is why we haven't touched it for two weeks. <laughs> To Try to understand future Zig's wisdom and come to terms with abandoning the goal of Zig of the past, who happens to be Zig of the now, but not present Zig. <laughs> yep. Importantly, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yep. I don't think this is achievable by anyone. <laughs> this feels like we were paid for a hundred episodes of a show, doesn't it? And we only had like twenty episodes of story. 
Oh no, um, we're in Supernatural Series 11. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Every time I forget that my chair no longer works and I fall back. And I'm surprised by it, even though I know it's going to happen. You should perhaps get a new chair. That's my, my hot take on this. this. is a hand-me-down from my work. Oh, I, so I, I mean, I stole it. <laughs> yeah. We were done with it. It was Ben that was going to get it. So... Mm. What what if you just what if you just bend another chair at work? I mean, this is not. <coughs> Quick question. Mm -hmm. If you were to write a story that included a Jedi li librarian who's a Mon Calamari, mm -hmm. what would you call her? A Jedi. I mean, librarian. Right. So, how many jokes about schools are we allowed to make first? Right. Because if you're going far too smart for them. Yeah, so, mm, okay. Um, I don't know, I'd need to think about that. I feel like there's a Trump good name in there. <laughs> Do you want to know the name they went for? Uh-huh, go for it. Black Bar. Wow. Black Bar. As in the colour black and the word bar. No, black. Oh, okay. They just put L. The front back bar. Oh, okay, black bar. Wow, so Librarian Akbar? Yes. Okay. That I actually thought it was so much worse because I thought you were saying Blackbar. That would be... And I'm like, is this like a really obscure Blackboard reference? Like, how would that work underwater? <laughs> Lackbar is very lacking in Black Luster. I just... Mm. But this... But then, I was so, as a child asked to write a book before Disney took over and burned all that shit. Chewbacca's kid being called Lobaka used to bug yeah. me, but there's like actual in universe reasons for that. It isn't just an L in front of Chewbacca. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. That sounds like a different franchise. Christmas, um, the Christmas it was, it was an edgy. Um, in the Christmas special, he had kids. Okay. Um, Sorry. It's just, uh, man, I, 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 don't, I don't know anymore. More apes comment, and I just don't know who left or what has to. Do. Thing is, though, right? This is the problem with the goals page, <laughs> right? As we know, this is sometimes things go beyond memory, and still haunt us. So. By the fault, I want to say I was more apes, but. <laughs> yeah, we. I think we discussed this last session, and we decided the font did look like your work. But as we've but learned, no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome. We're no further forward, so... Um, oh yeah, no, that's, it's a travesty. <laughs> we took a detour. I mean, I don't know if a detour is accurate based on I where we were. Think is, <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're just taking the tour. The detour is maybe back to the game. Um, but yeah, okay. So, I think, obviously, it's been 33 minutes. Everybody knows exactly uh, what's happened in the pre-game chat that apparently we have. Um... I, I, um, yeah, that's a poster. Um, let's not sidetrack any further. Um, dear gods. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, that's, that's all I've got. I have very little else beyond that. Like, Wait, Lord. let's get this show on the fucking road! Uh, 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 yeah. um, so. Wow. So. Uh -huh. so <laughs> So um, so yeah, uh, let's just mm -hmm. like let's just get this done. Let's just let's just kill everybody. Um, Me, I've done nothing. I've done nothing. And that was that's problem. That was your that your your abstaining is but you you you're just as guilty for allowing it to happen. Thank mm -hmm. you. And um, uh, that makes that makes. Of it makes Callum the worst offender then for having missed two weeks. I take well, pride in my active. Um, I was going to laugh if you were going to say abstinence. Um, in my abstinence. I wish I had. Let's just reverse. I take pride in my abstinence. <laughs> Why were you the Simpsons teenager for that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't three choice. <laughs> Low, not through choice. That is um, actually that's the title of a 
though not through choice, is a title of my Keepers of the Golden Gate, Session 1, actually. Oh, you're about to say title of your sex tape. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> that would be a terrible title for my sex tape, uh, him, quite frankly. But yes, though not through choice, <laughs> is the first title of Session 1 of Keepers of the Golden Gate that uh, I run on Fridays sometimes, but I ran on Saturday that week. <laughs> um... Anyway, back in this game. This will be a session one day. Um, we might just do 66 next week again. Um, oh dear. So, we're here. That's good enough. Let's type in the words session 66. Um, okay, so. I guess I should start. Since it's me. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like I was in front of Nico. That seems like what I was up to as this person. Um Callum, how much can you see? Out of interest. Uh oh I can see um me and all the other um So nothing random tokens. essentially. I see nothing. Okay. Okay. Um, I wonder. I don't think there's a way I can give you a vision of what they're up to. That's okay. I will use my mind's eye. I think what we'll need to do is um. Yeah, obviously because I'm not streaming this particular one as well, it's going to be very difficult for you. Okay. But yeah, we'll we'll just need to. Here into the void. Use my mind. Yeah. In fact, maybe this may tank my connection. Me tank the connection. I could maybe. Hmm. No, I won't do that. Yes, it does. No, don't, don't worry about it. It's all good. Okay. No. Okay. Cool. Well, oh, they're on the key for Larry. <laughs> that's a thing. Um, and they're all in different parts of the ship. So, that's also fun. Um. Could just be on one the, the map next to me and you can just follow me a bit. Oh. I mean, <laughs> like, I could. I was tempted just to put next to all of you. Um, like, if I just put multiple zigs in. Um, Maha! Oh, wow. Yeah. Oops, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Move me back. But, but why are you moving anyway? Why would you do this? I, 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 I tap my arrow keys by accident. I forget and it does that. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw me move into a place, I was like, I don't look I'm looking. <laughs> so this is, this is what I've had to deal with, Callum. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, remind yeah, me to, I, remind I, me, I, Callum, I, as we go to, like, like, move your viewpoints when things happen, okay? You can just be the camera. Um, okay. Um, anyway. Can I, can I move, technically move the zig? You should be able to move that zig, yeah? Yeah, no, I'll just, I'll basically, I'll just follow Zora, exactly. Okay, but I'm probably going to move you to every day's turn when it's their goal. So, oh no, that's fine then. Yeah. Oh, is everyone spread out? Okay, yeah. Uh, like, why would they be together? Like, that's... <laughs> that you really missed Ooh, a lot. There's so much room in the ship! Yeah, and yet, you have found ways to be apart for a lot of it. Um, it's, it's, it's more efficient. I can see we you and cover ground. Yeah, and how long had that taken? Two sessions? <laughs> um... Yeah. Anyway, though. Anyway. <laughs> no. No, you shot the control panel of one of them. It didn't work. Um. Okay. So the thing in front of you, Zora, hmm. is going to give you a wee cheeky full attack. Uh, hmm. Twenty-two and thirty. Uh, same one hit. Okay. Fifteen blue genie. I'll appreciate that. I mean, that's fair. But luckily it's your go now, once you've taken your damages. Uh, I really didn't appreciate that. Um. Also, it's like, make sure I don't just randomly target you, by the way. No, I'm I said I'll keep tabs on that, don't worry. Okay. Better do it, yeah. Hmm. 
Callum, you are welcome to interact with uh, the other players as you like fucking hunt them, I guess. We'll just foul attack them with the clauses. Cause I'll just do this. No, it's too extreme. Uh, which claws? <laughs> uh, Fuck off, claws. Colin. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's mess. Terrible. Awful. Just as tradition goes. Uh, uh, I, I feel like that is Mrs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then that's my thumb. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So I have um a lot of boils move now. Okay, so I need to move you now because you're, you you can be here. Oh, this? before I forget, right. mm-hmm. they were actually technically plus one. I know they're both still misses, but they're still mm-hmm. I do have full attack at minus three instead of minus four. Mm-hmm. I'll click it. Okay. <sighs> okay, so this guy goes in and walks into there. And does a wee cheeky attack on Lyco. What a wank. 27, buddy. 27? Hmm. Oh, maybe it does. Let me just... KAC. I realise this. It's 29. Let me check. Yeah, it is. Nice. Good luck, mate. And the day on... I can go there. And then I can go here and there, and then do nothing, and then. Oh, that's really rude. I mean, they're not exactly the smartest. Good problem, eh? Uh, no, it's true. Mm. I think this is thing I don't have anything else anywhere else. Yep. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I mean, I, I can just run away from them. I can do that, right? So the way you say right, really, you know, it filled me with confidence there. Well, I can because <laughs> right? I can I can trick attack, just run away. Can you only can trick attack one, though, right? Right, it doesn't matter though, because I can't be attack of opportunity when I'm moving through quick attack. Mm. Um, so is that like a? Isn't that only against the person you've trick attacked though? Nope. Let me just get the thing out open because it says nothing about the target. Interesting. It's if I use a standard action or if I use my trick attack to move, then I can't act for moving through squares. Which would be nice because it would mean that Starfinder didn't entirely hate players. Which I don't think it does. Uh, do, 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 do. So I've improved on kind of ability. When you use the trick attack action or take a standard action to move up to your speed, your movement doesn't go back for really. It's pretty good, eh? Yep. So I can, and I think I will, um, just leave the room and shoot at one of them. Okay. So. I'm going to shoot at this one. Do you need to not make the trick attack first, though? No. The, the, the test doesn't determine whether or not I can move. It doesn't determine anything other than whether or not the trick aspect is successful. Now what I mean is, if you move first, you've not done the trick attack. The move's part of the trick attack? Like, I can move at any point of the trick attack, I think? Oh no, I have to move before... I can move before it, I think, actually. I think it has to be before it. I think I've got a feat that lets me do some movie shit. Because I was going to say, I think if you move, you're going to be getting attacked. If you don't do the trick attack first. But if can't do the trick attack first, then move. So, mm, I don't know if that can the, be done. The, mo- the trick attack allows me to move up to my full move. And then a trick attack. But I can't... Tri- like that's So the trick attack is always move and then trick attack. It's not... I can't just... I then move. Um, as a full action, you can move up to your speed. Whether or not you move, you can then make an attack with a melee weapon, with operative special property, or with any small arm. Just before making your attack, him to bluff and him stealth check in my face. Sensible. Uh, See, the move, the move is always first. Which means, I still don't think you could move 
and then do it. I think you'd need to be there to have done the trick attack part of that. I don't follow. Right, so as part of your full action, right, so you use your full action, right, mechanically, you can then move up to yeah. your full and then do. Mm -hmm. So you haven't done the trick attack by moving your speed. Right, but uh, I don't. When I'm trying to do my text trick attack by movements, I don't take, like, it is explicit in the... Give me the the references so I can look at the exact wordings. It is pages 93 for trick attack and 97 Perfect. for improved uncanny mobility. Right. It does say explicitly when you use the trick attack action or take a standard action to move up your speed, your movement doesn't have the opportunity. I mean, it's pretty unequivocal. Let's see. And what was the other thing you have? Is it the... What was the second thing that wasn't trick attack? Uh, the the tri trick attack is 93, 97 is improved uncanny mobility. Unproved uncanny mobility. Because any other way to read that, it just doesn't have any effect. Because you can't pick attack and then move. Because yeah, the movement's part of the trick attack action, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I suppose that does make sense if you're reading that way, because if you have no ability to move, like, is, is there literally any way to move after a trick attack, though, with, through any other nope. means? Yeah, because you you're full actioned, right? So, yep. okay, no, that does make sense, yeah. My, my move has to come first. Move out. The only thing is, I think there is only, yeah, you can't go into that square. Yeah, because it's a console. Right. So that. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I think. So you've you've basically got where Zig is. Okay. So I can't actually. Or you've got like thing. one back. Because there's two squares where Zig is and just above Zig. Yeah, it's not a great place to be. Do you have any grenades? No. Um, Probably not advisable in this room either. I'm trying to think what the options are. Can... I can't just full attack, because then I'll get a tactical opportunity. I could get my guns, but, and if I full attack, I'll be able to drop them in... swords. Could trick attack and move one back. What was more effective for you, guns or swords? Swords in this situation, right? They are better. Uh, I just mean because it's melee, right? Um, as opposed to ranged. But uh, equipping them. So. Can't you drop the weapons that you're holding for? Yes. Right. But I can equip one weapon. Um, as part of a move, I would have to equip another as a separate action. Understanding? I I would assume so, unless you've got something that lets you equip it yeah. as a quick action. As far as far as I recall, I might actually even have that. I was going to say that feels like something Lyco would have if anybody. Um, quick, because I have quick draw. I can't remember exactly what that does. It's so rare that it comes up that I definitely Because this might be a situation where you want to drop weapons, deploy blades, and then just, at least for this turn, standard attack your way out, and then next turn yeah. full attack your way out, because then you're not getting them, you're not giving them extra actions, basically. Yeah, kind of swift that. So... That's fine. Oh, hold on, hold on. Do you have anything that's, that's, that's specific? 
Do you have anything that lets you shoot point blank? Uh, no, I don't. I just weirdly thought that was something like I could do, but maybe that was somebody else in a different game. Right, so... Okay. As part of a move action, I can draw a weapon, I can draw a hidden weapon on the back. I don't count as a hidden weapon. Um, now, that's... so I could I could draw one of them, but I think I would have to use my move action in order to draw the other, right? Uh, so is this the quick attack, sorry, the quick action thing you're talking about, or...? Yeah. I can use a quick, a quick action, or a swift action as it calls it, for one of them. But to get the other drawn... That's going to be a movement action. And if I, I use my movement action, I think I have to move to do it? Uh, no, I don't think you have to move. I think as long as you have your move and you're not spending right. it, right? Okay. Like, this is like. You could spend the move essentially on drawing the other way. Uh, would that provoke attacks of opportunity? I don't see why it would. Because it's not. Ball leaving their square. Yeah, you're, you're not making an attack or anything either, right? Like. I think the only thing it would do is temporarily you like when you don't have weapons. If they had somehow moved, you wouldn't be able to attack them, right? Yeah. That's it. I think is that how that works. I think then what I will do because if you can draw as a quick action and as part of your move, so as normal because you've got a bab of one, right, a bab of one, you can then draw as part of the move. Yep. So that's like one weapon out, and then so you don't dropping a weapon. Does that not require a quick action though? Is that not no, I was looking that up there. Uh, that is like... A free action. Yeah, pretty much. I'll get you the wording of it, because it is probably worth just having read out so other people know what the fuck we're talking about. Drop an item. Uh, you can drop any item or items you're holding uh, into your square or into an adjacent square any time without spending any actions. Okay, that's pretty explicit, yeah. Um, yeah, it's good, because I like how it's adjacent as well, which means if you were going to like just throw your guns behind the zombie when he looks at the guns, you just stab them. Obviously, mechanically, it'd be to the north of the zombie, but like, you get what I mean. Yeah. Like, that's uh, kind of cool. I think what I will do then is drop my guns behind me um, here. Okay. I'm trying to think. No, I, I know what you mean, yeah, I got you, yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, yeah, so drop the guns and using a quick action and a movement action, draw my two blades, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. leaving me with a standard action with which to. And you could drop the guns on in the square you're in if you wanted. Like I, I, I do kind of want to drop them behind me. Right, okay, cool. I yeah, that's fine. Them up or something. Which okay. might give me an action or something to attack them, but I just don't, I don't want both the guns to deal with. Um, right, that's fair. So I am going to attack the one uh, here. Okay, so down with, from you, right? Yep. Yeah, down from correct. With my bone. Not yet. But soon. Uh, is it twenty? Weren't you adding other numbers to this as well, or no, is it not just the normal ones? It's right, okay. just when I'm doing a full attack, I have less of a negative modifier than I right. normally would. Okay, cool. God, I'm just trying to remember every these fucking shit in this. Yeah, um, some of this stuff doesn't seem to program in. You know? Like, sadly not. Like, it seems to like be able to pull up um, its arm, and as you like cut into it, there's just like this like red foam that just starts like like Lovely. just spurt out of it. I am, yeah, like somebody blowing into a, a milkshake with a straw idea. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Delish. Let me just check. I have mm -hmm. really smooth. Yeah, so if I if I had hit it, right, just to read this out now, yeah, in case I forget it. about it, because I've forgotten about it previously, although it's not really come up. When you hit an adjacent foe with a melee attack, as long as you're adjacent to that target, you gain a plus two circumstance bonus to your AC against attacks from other creatures that are not adjacent to you until the beginning of your next turn. So, would that mean like this one would have like ha would be hitting me at plus two AC if I were to successfully attack one of these two? No, because they're all adjacent to you. They're all adjacent. To you. Had they both been one back, like like let's have, if if I just move them right, like had they been here and you did that. Then, yeah. okay. them moving in to do that would be fine, right? Like that would work that way. Right. Yeah. So it's it's because I thought that's what it was, where it's like a thing basically where you're harder to shoot that if you're locked in 
Edinburgh, which is why I took it. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I like I, Yeah. It's cool. Because um, my weapon special shooting is sniper rifle, so it's weapon mm. focus rather if it's not. I uh, like the, it's kind of another reason why the blades are such a good boon for your character because of the look. I'm the I'm the sniper. Oh, you've got close. Yeah. Drop sniper. It deploys murder blades. Right. I I like the visual of it mm -hmm. a lot um, and the thematic as well. So ain't nothing mutant about these. And then Wolverine extends his claws and yep yep yeah. yep every every nineties cartoon. It's okay. It just gives weird more time to be awake. Yep. Because these guys hit. Reasonably hard, right? Their if they hard. if they hit, they hurt, and if they like their their margin for damage seems to be somewhere between fifteen and seventeen, so, so it's pretty uh, consistent. Because I have an undead adrenal gland, uh, I, I can activate that as a move action and just liking it up because again things can go south and I might have to use it. Okay. Uh, which grants immunity to death effects, <laughs> energy drain, <laughs> exhaustion, <laughs> fatigue, paralysis, sleep, and stunning for a number of e minutes each. What what are death effects? Is, please I tell me that. No, but I have to assume it means you temporarily don't die. I uh, would assume that, right? Like that feels like something that should mean. Um, for one minute, so probably that would last for like one combat. Um, that'd be what, that. It, it, it would be ten rounds, yeah. Like, um, yeah. let's have a look at the index. Does death effects actually show up in what the index? That's a glorious yeah. statement. Uh, no. Unless it's under effects, because it probably is. I just read it. Dead condition. Um, Have you heard the news? Effects, um, effects, 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 affecting you, effects, yeah, yeah. affecting you, effects, affecting you, or affecting you. Sorry. Um, no, that's that's effects isn't a thing in here either. Wow. Um, it's, it's the language that they chose to use. This yeah, right. Being the language choose to use. Wow. Starfinder! Okay, so, Alex, because it's your turn next, what are death yeah. effects? <laughs> oh, for fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, my turn's up. So 250. Yeah. 250. Let's have a look at 250. It's maybe on 250. It's not like we're here to RP, don't worry. Don't be daft. Um, 250 has dying and dead on it, right? So that's a thing. Effects of hit point damage is a statement here as well. Um, death effects, though. It's so specific. That's them. So that's just how they are. I'm assuming it's things that happen. Like no, like um, you get like you start having to roll like, death oh. saving throws and that bullshit. I'm assuming it skips that. Wait a sec, it looks... let me just check this. There are a number of things in Pathfinder that have the death tag on them as spells. See, my my brain immediately went to spells when you said death effects. I'm like, well, like finger of death type idea, um, or power word kill. But I'm assuming this means like death effects being like um, dying one or dying two or whatever the conditions are. Okay. I can't death. Uh, yeah. Conditions. Maybe that was something to look up. That was maybe a better thing. Death. You remember that? That was a Final Fantasy spell. I just really hope you're looking up conditions. That's all I'm saying. Um, so we can understand how you work. Conditions. I mean, look, I don't how I work. Two seven three to two seven seven. Two seven three. That's well, good for us to keep us on our toes, right? Um, Okay. That does seem to be the, what I'm seeing as well. That is basically like something that uses the power. Like so, there is a condition called dead, <laughs> not death effects, but dead. Um, and dead. dead is your soul leaves your body. You can't act in any way, and you can't benefit from normal or magical healing. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's abilities that can, at least in Pathfinder, it's, it's there seems to be abilities that can kill you immediately or bring closer to death without needing to reduce your heat to zero HP. So it's not right. just temporarily immunity to being killed. Uh, well, I don't think it. Really awesome. I don't think it does say that you're um, immune to being killed. That's yeah, the thing. No, I don't think it does. I think it's uh, immunity to like 
things that would just one shot you. Yeah, yeah. That's where my brain went. As I said, that's where my brain went straight away when you said that because it's like things that cause death as an effect. You know, that isn't just the removing of your hit points. Yeah, temporary don't die button would actually be really nice in an operative. Uh huh. Yeah, like a literally, I get the <laughs> get out of dodge button. Yes. Um, okay, interesting. Good to know. I... So I'm looking at a flow chart on Reddit now. Okay. Uh, let me see. You, you investigate that, I'll move on to weird. Um, weird. Oh no, it doesn't help at all. It's your go, and I'll move you so you've got. Well, I'll, I'll put Zig here for you. There we go. Just so you see. There we go. Um, I am going to move here and then flip up. So you want to go up? Please. Okay. Yep. <laughs> My god. Um, okay, so you phase into this room. I'll move Zig. I'll sit Zig at the chair. Yeah, I'm just gonna zoom all the way out because my goodness. I think this is this is yeah. what the game's been. <laughs> uh, that's fifteen feet of movement. Is this a door in front of me? <laughs> is a door? Yeah. I would like to open that, please. Sure. Uh, it is obviously locked. Do you, uh, want, do you want to give me a a, a, a wee? No, I'll just walk please. Okay, so there's not enough room. There's not room. Okay. Yep. Is um, it an airlock? Sorry. Uh, that door, no. Okay. Um, uh, this door is open now. Yes, it's actually broken. And this door is open. Yes, that's also broken. Okay. <laughs> Those are no, two broken go. doors. Um, uh, like. I don't know how it works when you're not like. For example, right here's the thing. Here's a question for the GMs out there. See if a character who is large, like weird, is trying to fit into a space that is like you know a five foot square, right? But there is no actual walls to actually justify squeezing. I assume you can't squeeze, right? What do you mean? Like obviously, if you're going down a five foot wide corridor and you're ten foot, you can squeeze down it as per the rules. But yeah. if if you're walking down a room that, for whatever reason, is, say, filled with people, right? Let's say it's a 20 foot by 20 foot room and there are three rows of people in that room and there's one five foot corridor of people through there. There aren't rules to, for you to actually get through that because you can't fit through that. Like, I don't know if you actually can squeeze through that by the rules. Uh, I think you can squeeze all people. Right? Like, uh, I just, it needs to, it really just depends on the wording of squeezing. Um, Squeeze rule. It depends what the definition of is. is. What is the definition of is? Move actions. Yeah, because it's not going to be under S, we know that. Uh, oh, kind of wish it was, though. Just because if I can put you into that room by squeezing you, I would like to. Some but at the same time, if you can, uh, then no. It just says you can squeeze through or into a space that is at least half as wide as your normal space. Okay, so it just uses the term space. Yeah. Then, that's weird, right? Because te d does that mean that you could technically... No, like if you're teleporting somewhere, you need to have somewhere like open enough to fit you in. Could you not just teleport and squeeze? Like... Uh, theoretically. Right? Like it's yeah. it's a bit jank. Uh, um, I kind of like the image of the big early tank guy just squeezing his arms in and leaning on one leg. I feel, like, I, feel like, I feel like those squeezings meant to have some form of limitation for the fact that you've chosen to be a large creature now. You know? Like I feel like that, uh, that's the downside to being I mean, The limitation is that it halves your movement speed and you're entangled. Yeah. So it's still pretty big. Big cost. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, if you want to go that way, I think I'll just put you in that room if you want. Yeah, let's go over that room. Um, mm -hmm. cause that that feels right. I'll pop you in there. I'll I'll, I'll shrink you down first. Thank you. To squeezing. Now, do you want to be in this square or this square when you go through? You want to go up there and go through there? Okay. Yeah. We're bam. Here we go. Oh no. I'll I'll move. Take it back in. Yep. Uh, cool. And then I move one to this side. I'm assuming because there's a body there. Uh, th there isn't 
a is that um, possible? like if you're moving, like there's there, there's nothing there where you're clicking. Um, there's you. Um, I'm seeing tokens. Is anyone else seeing tokens? Because I'm like uh, th there are. Who's, who's there, there. Well, there, there there are people. Like the, the those are all attacking Lyco. Okay, but in the square that I came in on. No. They're, no. They're, nothing there. Nothing there. Let not. me reload my page. Yes. So not update the position. But I'll um. It's very working on base twenty. Uh, there we go. It's back, baby. Like, let me just um. This is what we see, or at least what we should see. Oh, I did do my healing. In theory, it's what we see. <laughs> okay, well, back up. Um, let's try this on. A quarter of my character level. Uh, and then I will punch the one that's in front of me. Sure. And are you in any kind of deficit to making attacks while squeezed? I am. I'm entangled, which does. Yeah, uh, minus two penalty to AC attack rolls, reflex saves, initiative checks, and dex based skill and ability checks. Okay. So it just will just take off two when you roll this. So yes. yeah, punch the boil. It's the one right in front of you, yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. A boom. Oh, I, I yeah, I was gonna say I don't need to <laughs> do any maths for that. That's yeah. good. <laughs> Yay. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So yeah. Um, <laughs> like, like where you get um, weird phasing through the wall and then just having to squish in behind them. Um. <laughs> uh, good to see you. I've got a stop at concealment when I took damage. I thought you said there were greys here. Uh, there, there was one. He's below us now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is... This is my favourite, this is what I was talking about, Callum. This is what this session has been like. Oh, it's been man. glorious. Yeah, I, I see the Scooby-Doo part of it now. Like, weird goes up through the floor, phases through the wall. Where's the grey? Oh, it's downstairs. But I was just there. I was just there. That's okay. right. Okay, so. <sighs> now it's my go. Man. What a rush. I've got a question. Let's see if you've got concealment. You full attack. You can roll twice. Uh, well, it's every attack, right? Yeah, yeah, like, I. That's a good question though, because as a full attack, considers one attack though. Mmm. That's technically two separate rules, isn't it? Two separate attack rules. I don't know though. That is interesting. Because obviously it might not work that way. Because sometimes, like, especially Paizo like to like group things together. And then shit on them. Yeah. Um. Honestly, like, uh, everything that I'm finding referring to the death effects is just <laughs> quoting what's, what Pathfinder says. Can you just go, go, look, go look up a spell that kills you, right? That's a better way to start, because it might have the words death effects in it. Mm -hmm. um, so do that. Um, right. I mean, the full attack thing, you can spend a full action to make two attacks. Right, while you're having a look at this, please discuss this full attack nonsense about the concealment and then also the spell effects thing, and I'll be back in two seconds, guys. Okay, okay. Godspeed you. So, the full attack thing, I don't know about concealment, but uh, full attack, you can spend your action to make two attacks, each with a minus four penalty, blah 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 blah. These uh, attacks can be made sure with the same weapons or different weapons, so does that make it two... I'll, I'll just that, that makes that it makes two sense. things as opposed to just one big thing, is that... That's... That sounds like two. Yeah. In, in my yeah. head, anyway. It's, you could full attack with the same weapon, or two of the same, of a type of weapon. Yeah. Because uh, there's a specific feat for that, which I have, which is yeah. the negative by one. Um, or you could have, like, full attack with a sword and a club, um, and you would just do one of each. Yeah. 
Um, oh, your firing speed has an effect on that. Oh, cool. This yeah. game is so, so convoluted. It does That's get in the way of things. So there is just so fucking much, and it doesn't see fit to explain things. It just assumes you've played a lot of Pathfinder and know them. Yeah, they're like, nobody Correct. in their right mind would play this without having spent years playing Pathfinder. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm noticing that the Crush Skull Necromancy spell explicitly states that it is not a death effect, although it can cause instant death. So what the fuck is a death effect if a Necromancy spell that kills you instantly isn't a death effect? Let's assume that anything that doesn't say it's a death effect is a death effect. Therefore, everything else is a death effect. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like, um... Disintegrate... Actually, Disintegrate apparently isn't, because Pathfinder. And if, if Pathfinder says it, then it applies here unless less said otherwise, essentially. Yeah. Uh, what else might be a death effect? Erase death this looks like the sort of thing. Something that uses the power of death itself. Cue spooky music. Thank yeah. you, um, person. Uh, Hello again. Hello. So, Hello. Hello, you. In my time away and then back, uh, apparently, death effects are typically ones that bypass hit points to cause instant death. Most of yeah. them explicitly say they are death attacks. So, um, how much that applies here? Nobody knows. Yeah, it's it's it's. I was noticing just reading there, Ryan. That there's a necromancy spell mm -hmm. called Crush Skull. Okay. Can cause instant death, but is explicitly stated as not being a death effect. Wow, so it's like a, a really a death effect. <laughs> not that. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> but that's like everything I'm seeing. Like guys, I just read out there. It's like it's you know the using the power of death. All right, so surely a necromancy instant kill spell. Nope. What is what is the death effect? I just know what they're not at this point. They're not. In so the let me guess that someone like Al like let me guess somebody like Alex then pointed out that that means everything else by proxy must be. Yeah. Conversation that we had. Yes. Did you actually say that? No, I only came yeah. back when I unmuted. Um, yeah, actually, that's... I love this sentence. Autopsy <laughs> would show a victim to be in perfect health. Except for being dead. Okay, that's not true though. But I feel like that just describes Colin. Oh, uh, yeah, not Colin, uh, and Michael. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 so, <laughs> taking from that is basically it's an ability that would not actually cause any physical damage. Yeah, it just it literally, literally it ignores like everything in So, a death effect is something that just gives you the dead tag. I guess that skips yeah, the reasons to get there. It doesn't actually do damage; it just turns you from alive to dead. Okay. Like a, a flip of a switch. God, that. And and apparently there are no fucking spells that do it. At least that. <laughs> so there's. So you're immune to nothing. No, he's immune to everything that doesn't say it's a death effect. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It doesn't say it's not a death effect. I think yeah. is the the terminology. Um. Okay, so if you die from a death effect, you can't be resurrected by Ray's dead. That is no longer true in Starfinder, then it's just an artifact from a past system where it was. What does that even mean as a sentence? No. It means Pathfinder said it. <laughs> okay, so Mystic Cure spells can't resuscitate creatures slain by death effects. Uh, Shield Other doesn't work versus death effects. Some spells and abilities protect against death effects. That seems debatable. And uh, if you're killed by either of these spells, then they don't count as death effects for the purposes. Okay. None of if, that helps. If you cast Slay or Slay Living on yeah. a zombie, the spell fizzles because the zombie has no life force or for it to affect. So it's the person, the, the thing being affected, has to have a life force. Yes. Yeah. Whatever that means. No, it's, I, I get what they're saying with that, right? Like, so for instance, it would be able to target me Got one. whether or not I'm alive is based I've on got, whether or not it's I found it. Okay. The Snuff Life spell, school necromancy brackets death. Right. Okay. okay. So there, there, there is at least There's one. Well, there we go. You are you can be immune to that for a minute. Um. <laughs> it also counts maybe into, like, stun and... Uh, oh yeah, like, but those are understandable yeah. terms. 
the death effects thing was the fun journey. Yeah. <laughs> I assumed it was a lot more unbalanced and cool than it is, but like, it is good though, because it's like, right, so let's go through it again. Death effects, niche. Energy drain, also pretty niche. Exhaustion, not that niche. Fatigue, mm -hmm. can't remember what that is. Paralysis, <laughs> clearly not that niche. Sleep, again. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Uh, it, like, that's a lot of effects that yeah. it gives you basically what is going to be the length of an encounter. It wasn't it even that like difficult an item. Like, obviously, it's it's a niche item to get narratively, right? But obviously, for your character, it was perfectly within the narrative to give you that item. But it's not particularly. It's not bracketed behind high levels or money. No, it's not. It's just fairly expensive, and that's like every. So the the duration is one minute per level of mark, and it can go up to like mark five or something. Probably. Because yeah. I just have the lowest level version. That's the undead adrenal plan. It's pretty good. Um, and it has as many, like all the undead uh, grafts have like X number of ranks. So. So there are two spells listed as necromancy brackets death close brackets. Okay. One of them is Crush Skull, which specifically says it's not the death effect. That's fascinating. Because it does it, it does in the spell description explicitly see not a death effect. So there is a spell. So I found you protection which from. Is not <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a spell and then there's a spell which both is and is not a death effect. So you need to be aware I love that calm. Um you need to be aware in advance that somebody could potentially have that one spell and then if they do you would then need to preempt them casting it by using that using ability move. yep which isn't that bad right a move action is not that bad um a bit for an operative but not that bad overall and then um, then you just hope they use it in 10 turns or 10 uh, 10 rounds yeah so yeah that's not too bad Actually, right? Like, no, it also covers all sorts of other things. So if you're up against like a would say just say mm -hmm. go well. Or if you're gonna try and like raid the archives on Eox for some bizarre unknown yeah, reason. If, if, if for some idiot reason you were dumb enough to do that, <laughs> um, the, then you could go right. This is a boss fight. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw. He might like, throw a big spell and. It, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, at least we've we've learned something, right? And isn't that the true meaning of Christmas? Um, isn't the learning the friends we made along the way? It's definitely not the death effects we made along the way. Mm, um, no. <laughs> so, I have someone in my group who insists anything that would result in a character making a save and the failure resulting in death would be a death that, effect. Like, that is, that like, is how I read that. I, the examples... Like the ex the thing is, it makes sense if you thought that way, right? It does make sense if you thought things that could cause death. Because nowhere does it explain that this what this means. You have to go through like every spell that has it individually and find out exactly what it means. Except in the one case where there is a death spell with a dead flag that isn't a death effect. <laughs> oh my god! Fucking stop, so, so man. This person from two thousand and two, right? Two thousand and two. Um, and this is in the Pathfinder and Starfinder, so I'm assuming Starfinder was added later to the title of this form. Because oh, um, 2002 is a long time ago. A death effect is any special ability which is labelled as such. Additionally, any spell with the brackets, death, close brackets, descriptor. Anything else is not a death effect. How simple is that? Why isn't that written somewhere? Yeah. It would also need the exemption that was like, you know, they, except in the cases where this just doesn't apply. Because it has a death tag and is also not a death spell. Yeah. At least that one did state that, though. That other yeah. spell, which said this does not count as the death fit. Which technically means you don't get immunity to it, but the resurrect spell works if you die that way. Right? Yeah. So that's nice. Because the death effect stops the resurrection. So, although I don't know if Lyco can be resurrected. He can. Yeah. He can, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. It resurrects me to a normal R.I. status. Yeah. Uh, it is the only example I can think of where I am explicitly consistently as one thing, because everything else is basically circumstantially whichever one's worse. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like if you die and then come back, you don't come back as a living person, you do come back as a Barai, which is interesting. Yeah. 
it's almost like it kind of implies Barai's the new fixed state of being as well, which I quite like. Um, because it almost implies that's not reversible now, right? Which is interesting from like a story point of view. Um, interesting. So spells from the PHP that would be negated by Death Ward, uh, whatever that means. <laughs> Circle of Death, Death Nail, Destruction, Finger of Death, Power Word Kill, Slay Living, Symbol of Death, not listed but it's the bill, and Whale of the yeah. Banshee. Yeah. yeah. Um, additionally, I'd allow magic items that process that, that process the above spells to have a their effects negated. Exactly. Yeah, it's just for Death Ward, and it just mentions Vorpal weapons, arrows of slaying, mask of the skull, necklace of strangulation, and scarab of death. I really hope the scarab of death has a small black cloak on. Um, but anyway, so we learned about that, right? Um, tangents of eternity. Um, so. I'll take my turn now, I guess. Oh, oh, dear. I know. I simply hoped I'd had. If I invoked <laughs> the rules of the game, we would be so bogged down, never get round to killing us. I mean, we're, we're maybe not that far away from that. Uh, right, if I move here. And I'm a right, duck. So that's fine. That'll, that'll be fine. I'll do this. And I'll let you move up. Move the map up so everybody can see what's happening. And then we know what's going to happen. I need a save from Nico. And mostly I mean Zora. Because I'm doing. Uh, there's the button I was looking for the whole time. Unacceptable. Oh. 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 I wouldn't worry. <laughs> We've been through this circus before. Oh, okay. A lot. That is a pitiful mind thrust. A That's mind thrust. You wanna you see a mind thrust? I'll no. show you a mind you thrust. Yeah, hey, I'll just do my... This, this would be a good time to just appear and save us, you know? Just what, with thought. my mind thrust? Yeah. Kabuli! that until we die. <laughs> Commodore is a guy. We got your still called Commodore. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I did actually roll damage, but it definitely didn't show up on my screens. Never mind yours. So, I don't, I don't um, see so uh, well, I don't see them. So I, I definitely assume it never worked. Uh, also, where's your D100 roll? Uh, There's my damage roll. Your D100 roll. You're the one did the damage. No, it's your, it's your. <laughs> It's your hit or miss nonsense. Guess I never miss, huh? Yeah, so I hit. Got a Zora, but he ain't quite the abyss, yeah. Oh, nice! Look at this kid! Wow. <laughs> also a 99. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sadly, he wanted like 50 or lower though, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, so that's that's a thing that happened, um, and then, oh, what, the, what else is happening? Where else? Let's let's find out. Uh, also, I, I never moved Zig, but that's fine. There's a lot going on. No, that's fine. Um, just move me on on their turns, otherwise. Yeah, I, I think I'll do that, but. Uh, the joys. I suppose, like, hmm, could I just do this? Would this work? Um, let me just dump you in two places. Does that work for you, buddy? Oh, just stick me. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, just stick me, wow. like, the next to every party member. <laughs> yeah. Just make Zig all the security cameras. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay, so. This week on Zig Watch. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's fine. Right, and I think me and Zora have been through this dance before, so it's another full attack. Wabam. bam Twenty-six and twenty-five. Okie dokie. Christmas. Okie dokie, and then it is Zora. Uh, right, uh... <laughs> uh, wormholes? Wormholes. <laughs> wormholes? Wormholes. Yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, I'll just put the one directly behind me. 
a second to uh, make wormholes again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, right, let me get some portals. Uh, let's see. Some good portals. Where are all the good portals at? Oh. So getting too claustrophobic in here. Right, I'm gonna try and see if I can find something that has a direction. Would be nice, maybe. No, no directions. Okay. Or maybe just use the thing Callum's used in the game before. Um. So. At least that has a light <laughs> pointing to it. So, where would you like the the wormhole to be? Uh, one right directly behind me, and one like. Basically. Remember, it has to be a grid intersection, so it can't be. Yeah, a, yeah. So you can tell me which grid intersection you wish it to be. Um, uh, well, I'll just turn this into a drawing so it works. I'll go. Oops. Oh no, it's under me. That's fine. Well, that one's bears. Uh, okay, so basically the, the thing behind you, let me just rotate this round, so, okay, so let me copy that, make another one, so you want this one, or get rid of your orange nonsense. Oh, so it can't go on a wall. Oh, I just deleted myself. Control Z. Ah, uh, yeah, Control Z is working as well, thing. Sora. So, uh, do do this, this is not the first time this has happened, Zora. No, the the drawings under uh, under me, okay. <laughs> I'll put you back then, shall I? <laughs> okay, right. So that's not a grid intersection. This other orange mark. Uh, okay, just put it like the grid at the top of I mean, it, it does, because you're going to tell me where you you want it. Okay, facing what way? Uh, oh, I need to kind of face up, probably. Yeah. Okay. We're well, bam. And then I'll just do a wee kick out the step. Bloop! Oh yeah, it's all allies again. Yeah. Okay. Bloop! Guard the step backwards. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Oh, there we go. Oh, didn't see anything. I did, but it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's one hundred percent somebody's fault. Can <laughs> <laughs> um, wormholes? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, right. Oh, so, no. Oh my God! What was your, what was your, back initiative? I know that, like it was, he's in between the two, the two oh. zombos. Oh, I just, yeah, I just, is. and I don't know where he was yeah, in I there. Was 20, I think I was 20, 23, I was. I was Let's 20. make you 23, and obviously if it matters. But I have to... heard that nobody likes you when Shut you're up. 23. Shut up. And then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Carl. <Captain. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you're at least 23, right? So I can, I can, uh... <laughs> Right, okay, so, now, now I get to have some fun with some full attacks to make this easy. So, against uh, Colin, oh, surprise, surprise, against Lyco, I should say, here's a full attack, wabam. 31? Uh, 31 hits. Six, annoyingly. 16 blue genie. I, I consider that quite rude. Um, mm -hmm. I would too. I mean. Next, next guy. Uh, is gonna go for you again. Full attack, wabam! Uh, 23 and then 31. Fuck's sake, yeah. Okay. 20 stamina. Okay, okay. Uh, so that was 16 damage, then 17. You got that, yeah? Yep. And then last guy, let's have a look. Hmm. Your totals haven't updated for me. Is that just some bizarre delay? Um, maybe. Oh, no, they have now. They have now. Um, you'd maybe just not clicked out of it or something. Um, so, with that, um, I feel like this last one's probably going to try and... The first attack on Colin, the second attack on Alex, right? So, Lyco first, then Weird, right? That's for this last guy. 
I aim for his full attack. So miss and miss. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, because he's being punched, but he did like fighting the other guy. So there we go. Mm -hmm. Lego, chew. It's I, me. I think um, so. <laughs> it is now. Mario. It is me, Mario. Um. <laughs> hello. I will use. <laughs> the Medicini. Bone blades and a full attack against the same. The one directly below you. Right, okay. So remember, I will have to. Oh, for fuck's sake. That roll. I didn't mean it. No, it. Because uh, I will need to roll another one after this because I get the three attacks. Yeah. Um, and this is at minus three rather than minus four, so they aren't as bad as. And they're all against the guy beneath you. They are? Yeah. They are indeed. So that's a 27 and a 23. Okay. And I will roll. Actually, I can target my own. But no, fuck, I'm going to go all in in this one. Okay. Um, and the next one will be a minus three. So that's a 21, 23, 27. Okay, so that's two hits. The two first hits. the first two, because if that last one is a... Yeah, a, that's 21. Yes, yeah, so that misses. Okay, so that's... So you're a 23 and you're 27. So damage. Yeah, and that's another one directly below you. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Done. Yep, nice, nice, uh, yeah. My turn is spent. Yeah, you take, um, you take some good chunks out of the guy, yeah. Again, red foam for days. This is just gonna end well. That'll be fine. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not worried. Uh, oh. Weird. Yes. So firstly, <laughs> I want to share some news oh. of the search that I've just been on. Okay. I have just done a search across Character Operations Manual, Near Space, Packed Worlds, Armory, Alien Archives 1 to 3. Okay, mm -hmm. yep, I'm on board. Two, two death effects wow. I found. None in the alien archives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so many immunities to death effects. The, the two that I found, there is one in character operations manual mm -hmm. um, for a witch walker spell that says this is a death effect. Okay. Um, and there is in near space, there's the assassin okay. archetype. Has an ability that says this is a death effect. Wow! So, there it's, you go. so it's those, and then those two spells, which one of them doesn't count. One of them is, but isn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that snuff life sometimes isn't. So it's not a death effect if you're if the target's got CR fifteen or higher. Right. Hell. So, so guys, uh, this is why we spent half an hour, guys. Uh, this is the guys I'm referring to are the people watching the show. Uh, um, this is why we spent half an hour at the start of the show talking about Star Wars. This is this is why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're like, yep, because these are the way the designers made this system. And again, whoever thought about the story to justify the rules, well done. Whoever thought about the rules, you were hopefully shot. Yeah. I'm just the amount of things I went past though that specified that they have bonuses to death effects, immunities to death effects. Is this they, like when you're a kid though and you're told like a bit quicksand and you're mildly terrified yet horribly curious about it and it never comes up in your life? Yeah, that is always disappointing. Right? Like it yeah. feels like quicksand. Right? It's like, oh yeah. better watch out for quicksand and then it's never been an issue in my life ever. Yeah, and <laughs> the thing is I found something it's a i think it was a poison in one of the books where <laughs> if you have immunity to death effects it does not affect you but it is not it specifically says this is not a death effect okay so does that mean that resurrection things does that mean then that oh man that doesn't mean like would be mean to that it would be because it says if your immune to death effects and your bonuses against death effects. Will right, yes. Effect. Okay, it would, yeah. That makes but sense. it doesn't prevent resurrection or the other things that death effects present. Okay. So it's a half death effect. So you're immune to something that if you weren't and you died to it, you could be brought back from. Yeah. Okay. That's the, I mean, I don't know, I think things are coming up Lyco, it sounds. It's all coming up Lyco. <laughs> it is. <laughs> For a change. There are three cases across six. Eight books that I've been able to find oh, of things that are labelled death effects. Why? Half cases, really. 
Yeah, but we got some really uh, nice pictures of um, like I was going to call them CC beaches. We got some really nice pictures of uh, Scaramander beaches. Is what I was trying to say. Yeah. Oh, there might be more in uh, near space because that's mm. not text searchable. Yeah, so I went through visually to the areas that should have death effects. Mm. Um, There's probably like so a yeah. Viscarium planet called Death Effects, and mm, Lyco's like immune to it for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, uh, this... The Vesk have weaponized this planet. Plyco stands up, but now it's my minute to shame. <laughs> oh, the fact they've got ten times as many, um, you know, like things exceptions that... to the rule, yeah. mm -hmm. and then cases where it half applies. I suppose I wouldn't mind if there was just a spell called kill. Right, like literally just kill, and there's no it just as the death effect, and that's it. And it was like like a level nine spell or some shit, right? See if that was a spell that isn't power word kill and requires levels, like mm. something that just says you are now dead because of a death effect. That would be kind of something I could oh. get behind, right? Because then there's a very definitive cause that bad guys can have. They can go, bam, you're dead. Yeah. And then like I can go, well, no, I'm not. At least for another fifty eight seconds. Um, or if they just did something like. Instead of going through all this effort of not defining death effects but making everything immune to death effects, just put immune to instant death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or roll a d20 on a, a three or lower. This is instant death doesn't affect this one. Instead of the plus four bonus to death effects. But there's more equipment to help with death effects than there are death effects. Yeah. Yep. yep. And I mean, an argument could be said that the death effects that prevent resurrection, Lyco could be immune to, ultimately, regardless. So, it, you know, if something somehow killed Lyco that he was immune to, the death effect of, maybe he'd still be resurrectable. It's very bizarre. Fucking Starfinder. But anyway, it's your go, buddy. Thanks for uh, <laughs> checking that out. But let, let's just hope that never comes up. <laughs> Quickly pens in a bunch of NPCs with that specific spell. Mm. Fucking hell. Yeah, I didn't actually check how many <laughs> there's any <laughs> that have those spells. That's, I hope that they just not put any of those. That's on. probably my pain to find out when I go and try and build an encounter at some point. Yeah, and go, I, I was careful to not look in the alien archive but like, other than search. See, like, put it this way, see when I go to, like, if you ever actually go to Eox, right? And yeah. I have to start up a goddamn encounter for you to get to Eox, right? Like, or when you are there. Will I ever encounter a death effect spell? Probably not. So I think you are fine. Oh, but every creature you put up against us will be immune to death effects. Yes, of course. Just in case they like <laughs> surprise me. So just in case one of us goes into the archetype assassin. Yeah. So that our assassin ability, which takes three turns to carry out, would not work. <laughs> I suppose that means that if you have two failed saves. If it takes three t turns to carry off, that gives me two turns. <laughs> In which I can prepare by triggering my ability. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> all according to cake accuracy. So what is this plan? You see an assassin away up on the hill. You see the glint off the sculpt, yeah, and you go, "Wait a minute! That feels like a death effect." <laughs> I know because of how rare they are. <laughs> I do not want to die today. I'll activate my adrenal gland, my undead adrenal gland. Wha bam! Throat starts pulsing. I mean, uh, oh dear. it's the same quandary. Is it, is it a eagle or is it a buzzard? Yeah. Uh, if I, it's uh, an eagle, you know it's an eagle. Mm -hmm. If you say, is it a buzzard? Well, it's probably a buzzard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fucking hell, it's so dumb. <laughs> uh, episode 66 Trash Starfinder is what it should be called. Um, <laughs> is it a death thing? No. We don't know how. Uh, yeah. Do you ever feel like you learn less the more you play this game? Because I sometimes feel I that. I get more confused. Yeah. Um, weird. I just assume. What, what I am you? learning so much, but not about Starfinder. Yeah. About not to build a role. Yeah, I was going to say about game design. It's a great yeah. exercise in what's not to do. Um, and also, the how to quickly search through for loads of PDFs. Yeah, that was a pretty impressive, yeah. Really, it's um, because it's a pretty Starfinder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an exercise more in spreadsheeting than anything. I'm going to punch this guy twice and then go for a piss. Okay. <laughs> 10 and 12, I do nothing. Okay, okay, go pee. I touch the voice fence. I'm going for an anger piss. Okay, I guess it's my go then. Um, fuck. 
fucking hell. Oh dear, it's just so nonsense. Um, Zara, you know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll do my intro. You do. You do yours thing. I'll do my thing. Okay, yeah, that's and then I'll do the thing. Again. There's my damage. Let's see if you save. <laughs> I'm sure there's narrative descriptions for this, but we know the we know the game now. Uh, do we know the game though? See, like, oh, that's not a bad roll. Yeah, well done. There we go. There we go, buddy. Half damage. What's that going to be? Um, six. Yeah. Six damages. Um, and then it vanishes. Run, yeah, run, it, it runs through the, the door next to it. And obviously, okay. actually through the door. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um, so, uh. Whew. Uh, then. This is the gun and chase me. Yeah, I need to do some measuring, apparently. Okay, so that's okay. Oh, don't worry. There we go. And then, um, yeah, because I mean, it would love to attack Ghostly Zig, but <laughs> um, I, I cast Ghost. What's that? Okay, so that's a death effect. I deny it. Okay, so I can go there, and I can go one more forward. Actually, sorry, okay. no, no, I'll go there. I'll go there. I'll do something slightly different for a change because they've been really boring. He's just gonna, we're bam, shoot you. He's actually gonna hit maybe uh, a thirty-one on EAC. It does it does? So how does this work? Right? Are you gonna take the shot, Callum? Yeah, you're gonna just be hit oh, for him. Oh, yeah, diving in front. I'm just gonna no. push over there so you're a bit oh, out of the way. Oh, so I'm gonna. Also, sorry guys, I, I meant to move the map. Oh, but yeah, there we go. I just I, I don't oh, mean that. Oh, I, I did not mean that. Just cheeky well <laughs> saves. Just, just, everything is too much for Breen. Okay, it has. Yeah, it hits. Also, um, so how does it work? It does electric and fire damage. Is it like half its damage is fire and half its electric? Yeah, sure. So it works. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, it, everything's doing right, so I'll take five less damage because fire damage, right? Yeah, you would take five less. Yeah. 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 Well, you take half damage from fire. Is that right, or is it you take five less damage from fire? Uh, I've got twenty fire resistance, so I would negate up to twenty that fire damage. Yeah. So yeah, it would be. So it's basically um, six electric is what you take, I guess. Yeah. 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 So I'm at 11 stamina. Bastards. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm also running low in stamina. I'm at 20. I don't think it was my stamina. I've got all those healing spells, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Red cat. They don't affect stamina, do they? No, they don't at all. Because <laughs> 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 they're yeah, death effects, cat. right? They're death effects. So, uh, yeah. Um, right, Zora, it's your go. Uh, so, I'll just move through the bumhole. Ha! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Psych! So <laughs> you're there, yeah. Uh, <laughs> again, do you get cheeky and show him? Like, that would just be hilarious, right? I mean, this is why you have wormholes, right? I don't know, like, this yeah. is what I would do if I had yeah. them. <laughs> oh, show him. <laughs> Can we go? I wish I could have like a, a quick attack one. Ugh, miss. What's we gonna miss? Miss that EAC? Yeah. 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 We're gonna miss. Uh, okay. Other I thought it was just constellation blast them, but it was. Right, so. We know how this works, Lyco. Let me just move our camera. There we go. And full attack from the guy below you. Rude. Twenty and sixteen. Long. Cool. Yep, you're twenty nine for KAC, right? Yep. Cool. Pathetic. <laughs> I scoff at him, I don't. Pathetic. <laughs> 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 
Your fate in your fists was yours. Anyway, um, next guy along is going to have a go at you. Wabam. 26 and 15. Nope. And then I think the other one is just going to go against a uh, all in on. What's his face? Weird. I've got a question. What happens if I surround myself with a boat? Right, uh, you attain right. infinite velocity, well, and I'll <laughs> you attain infinite <laughs> velocity, and I'll just put you everywhere on the map. <laughs> like, like if, 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 if I designated to like only allies, right? I mean that means nothing. Then you through, truly right? become the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just that ridiculous cheese that I went there right now? Everything but, collapses in one uh, point. Uh, it depends what the um, if the wormholes actually block people, because people might just be able to walk through it. I mean, it doesn't see anything anywhere. I've been blocking all, all ways. So maybe it doesn't it work that way. Because it's not like you're opening a portal. Like you know, you're you're not opening a two D plane where the other side connects to the other side of the portal. You make like it would make sense. Like say, what any normal air quote portal should do. You know. He says, air quoting <laughs> normal. <laughs> In this example, uh, do you know what I mean? Because obviously, if you yeah, I suppose just pass through if you can't use it. Yeah, because if you're there, right? Because this is what I would do if I was like a telemancer mage, right, or whatever, somebody that specialised in teleport magic and portals and stuff. Like, you'd make a portal in front of you and a portal behind you, and the assumption is that if you walked forward, you'd end up in the same space, right? Because, yeah, question, right? but then the the other point of that would be if somebody shot into the portal you've made, it would go behind you. And that if would I, be the dream. What if I made? if I made the portals to accept all matter and that way when they shoot through it it would just go through the other side <laughs> if they walk through it it would just go to the other side <laughs> well don't, you, you don't have double sided portals though right ah uh, but what if I what if I what if you did <laughs> see I know what I mean I actually could have oh, right, right. It's, see when, see when you, know you say right, now. Right. I could cast that, that this one, and I could cast another portal over there, and one right next to it, and another one over there, and right next you to it. You have to be able to see things to cast, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did we establish whether or not you could cast through a window? Right, yeah. uh, it's line of sight versus line of effect. Those are two very different things. So, line of effect means you need the space to be free, and line of sight just means you need to be able to see it. Right. So and if I looked through a window, I could. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, so what I was thinking... You could, right? You could use that to, like, I don't know, you could specify that, uh, well, no, because you would, mm. how right. could you make a vacuum effect work with that? <laughs> <laughs> right, my theory, right, is have, my, the way I've got it set up in here, right, I've got one, one entrance and one exit at the other side of the room. Yeah. Well, you've yeah, I could just have another entrance next to me with another exit the other side of the room. And how, many, how many wormholes can you maintain at once, though? Technically, they last for five turns, so... Right, so why isn't there a turn tracker for this, buddy? Because uh, it should... This one's at four. This one's at four turns. Aye, like. So we've got... Oh, wow. The label is um, WH for wormhole, and we're obviously just going to have to... Then five at the moment. Uh, this one calculation, let's add this in there, and uh, no, I think it's four. Um, it's four at the moment because you've well, already I, I had a turn. Sorry, I mean, five max, I mean, it's like mm -hmm. max was five at the moment. Oh, and yeah, you mean four consecutively, like because by the time the yeah. first go, I would disappear, then another would not be really. But it's simply but make that, another one after it, it's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, so basically like four or five at a time, really. But that means technically ten more homes at a time. Okay. Interesting. Ten would be on the map at once. You know what I mean? And then at level fifteen, I think I could put three done with a one one four. So, the thing that I like about this is immediately my brain goes, "Okay, so you find something, you make obviously your grid intersection, you put a portal horizontal, and then you put a portal underneath it facing down. So one facing up, one facing down, and then you have another set of portals." A fair distance below that, but you put the portal facing up, and then you put the the recipient of that just above the first two you made, and you push the heavy crate in, and you let it fall through the portal tube you've made. 
<laughs> for a long time. And then you get ready oh, you get ready to you, you summon a portal facing the enemy you wish to hit or the thing you wish to hit and you cheekily slide the other counterpart over in the drop one. So it picks up the crate. Like a motion a f- <laughs> so like that's something I would consider, but you'd need to do that within five turns because the amount of like microing to like work out where the crate would be to then How put the pearls. That, how long does an item take falling <laughs> like, to reach terminal velocity? <laughs> so, ignoring that, because there there are rules for falling, and like you can fall a crazy distance in D and D and in Starfinder or Pathfinder, like in a round. It's actually crazy how far you can fall in a round. Um, it's more than your move speed. Put it that way. Um, yeah, oh, so it's well, kind of horrible. Terminal velocity. <laughs> 12 seconds, so I'll need to keep that going for two rounds. Excuse me, which is reasonable. Well, if it's three, three rounds, it because you need one to set it up, then yeah. push it in object. Excuse ah, me. We'll and then... Some beautiful boys. Mm-hmm. Something smashing. Sort of and then four rounds <laughs> to have get the exit portal set up as well. So four rounds, perfectly timed weapon. <laughs> is this Farscape? Have we made it? <laughs> Although it's a bit of a so I couldn't really drop something in there. Something. I mean, like, you know, like it's just that's a horribly, horribly lizard two D mind frame, right? Um, yeah. That's it's an interesting thought experiment. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, it's a very interesting thought experiment. Fantastic. Um, I mean, if you want to let me put like one holes in a flat plane, it's I'm super like, fucking dumb, isn't it? It's <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I think it's like like narratively, it's another way of like catapulting someone somewhere. Like literally, just the game portal, right? Where you have to like build up speed to launch yourself up again to to higher places that you can't reach with your goddamn portal gun because of stupid non-portal stick walls. Um, so yeah. Anyway, besides all of that nonsense, <laughs> I think I've got some. I think I did all my zone boys. I did right. So that's that's Lyco. It's Lyco. <laughs> Right, so, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to swing for the same one again. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were pretty messy, right? They weren't looking in great shape. Uh, two of them look like they've they've seen better days. One of them doesn't look that phased at all. Probably this one doesn't look that Probably phased. that one, yeah. Like, o- objectively is, that one. <laughs> I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to take... My full attack and split it the first two this one to try and finish them off, then run it that one. Okay, yeah, so the old one too. So this uh oh this classico is for the one directly below me, and that's an eighteen and a twenty four. Oh, okay, four, four, four hands. Hands. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, so that one will be hit. Um where's your third attack gone? And I haven't rolled it yet. Because remember, it doesn't seem to allow me to do that. One. Yeah, but I'm asking where where is it going? Not where well, is it? <laughs> I have said that I would direct it to this one, so I think I'm going to stick with that. Yeah, cool. Um, that just seems fair because I've announced it. Mm-hmm, yeah, I agree. Um, so this would be a minus three, so that's a point. <laughs> yeah, that is. Nice. Okay. Um, now they're all on a on par ish, right? <laughs> Not looking great. Good. Um, I never said not looking great. Just seen better days. No, yeah, they're they're they're, they're not they're not mm-hmm. unblemished. Yeah. Um, I mean, were they ever looking great? Probably not. <laughs> uh, well, I guess you didn't see them, so I'll do a wee cheeky zoom. Hey. Yeah, they're not looking great. Yeah. I would agree <laughs> with that, Seth. <laughs> um. So yeah, that'll be my turn over. Personally, he's just been vain. <laughs> You're so <laughs> I will. I will. Uh, I will perhaps suggest to um, the weird. Uh, hmm. I don't know what, what exactly. How, how exactly? Is it, what is it going to be a tactics thing? Is it focus fire? Is it flee? Is it hunt the grey? Is it why is Zig kind of here? Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, I was thinking like to sort of indicate to him to try and if if there's anything that you could do to hit. 
multiple targets other than just like punching repeatedly. Do you explode? Do you have a bomb? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably that. Yeah. Um, that fact, felt you know what? Apt. Exactly that. Uh, you don't have any bombs, do you? Not on hand. <laughs> I love the idea that you say that with four hands. It's just <laughs> funny. Right. So that w that will be my turn over. Also, I love that they were just flailing wildly trying to hit me for most of the last turn. Like they got a few hits in the one before, and then it was just like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the idea, like, you're in, like, melee combat where they're wailing on you and you're, like, blocking and dodging and whatnot as well. Like, it's probably quite cool from a, like, you know, dodge choreography. A zombie, you can dodge a bomb. Yeah, I think you said that two weeks ago. Probably. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably say it again. Probably. I mean, because this probably isn't the end of the zombie arc if the pacing of this session is anything to go back. with me around, baby. Also, just not with. I mean, the, it seems like the, we live in the Kivalari now, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move on from that statement. So let's go to <laughs> weird. <laughs> I found one more, Ryan. Okay, yeah. Talk it to me. Yeah. The trap, solo upload trap in the player's handbook. Mm. It has effect death. Ooh. It's not interesting. It just instantly kills everyone. Okay, but yeah. Lyco would be immune to that. Yeah, it would be. Uh, it's a DC forty-five perception. <laughs> computers to disrupt it. So, can you make that check, Colin? 45%? Forty-five perception. Um, yeah, is that something you can even roll? No. Nah, that is no. that is crazy. Let me just yeah. roll a quick perception because I'm getting like. Eh. What level's that item? That's a CR seventeen trap. Right. Okay. That that feels. Fair. Yeah, but to, to be honest, you know, a few levels time, I could probably yeah? make it. Yeah? Like, yeah. I've lost 17 right now. You're gonna need, like, a plus 8 or perhaps to... To bear minimum it, yeah. It's pretty simple, yeah. So that brings us up to a total of 4 death effects. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I haven't started searching the adventure modules yet. Oh dear. Do you know something? I really hope that you find an adventure module that's got 20. Me too. Like, I feel like, you know, it's and it has to be like the most obscure, most boring looking adventure module. That nobody would it willingly go to first, right? Um Man. Yeah, it's, I mean I'm I'm half interested like diving into the third party stuff and seeing if anyone's redeemed it. But so yeah. the idea of third party Starfinder stuff also upsets me. Yeah, like considering how much of the actual Starfinder stuff that exists um. Yeah. Interesting. I do wonder how much content they're looking to produce. Actually, like I wonder, because they keep making books, right? And the books are interesting to read. So, I'm gonna say the answer to how much they're going to produce is simultaneously too much and not enough. Yeah, they'll produce a lot of books. And there'll be very little content that's useful beyond <laughs> the story that they tell you. Yeah. Because, like, I'm not going to lie, the Near Space book I can't justify buying because that would feel like a campaign two going into that area. And I want it because of the pictures of Skittermanders. Yeah. And that, that, <laughs> that, that, that stats. like, that's the appeal, right? I already have Skittermander player stats. And um, you got them in the right. Alien Archive, which was nice. Ahem. <laughs> But yeah, right. That that's key in my interests. Um, I'm not against the a role playing system that has so much to love except the rule set. Yeah, like all like uh, every day I tell about Starfinder, I'm like the system is so good until you need the rules. <laughs> that's it. I really because like, making a character is a fun process. Yeah. Like it's <laughs> like you kind of enjoy making a character. Leveling up the character is a bit niche, but you've probably chose it to be, so that's on you. Um, equipping the character is a bit of a headache, but, you know, again, kind of exciting getting bigger numbers sometimes. And then uh, then trying to use your character, oh, don't be daft. Why would you ever want to use them? It reminds me of a car show. Mm -hmm. Where you get all these lovely vintage cars that people refuse to use. Or a fashion show, right? Like with all the eccentric um, wares, as it were, that you're like, 
that's cool, but no one's no one will wear this. This is a one off. What this is literally a waste of time. Except as a piece of art. Okay. Interesting. Okay, like a cool stuff find a piece of art, yeah. I'd, I'd say to like a degree, like it's an art form, right? The writing, right? And the story, okay, the it's art. Kind of like, it's got that issue. It's it's half art and half half assed. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Money. <laughs> hey! I'm gonna punch a zombie. Thank you. Boris. Mm-hmm. Right. Or twenty. Oh, there we go. Okay. Twenty-one and a crit fail. Hey, does a twenty-one hit? No, it doesn't. Yay, I'm useful. That's my turn. It's okay, they've been about as useful. useful. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... I um, don't well, guys, nice to be helping, pretty useful. So, this wee guy... Oh, okay, okay. man. Make oh. them be dead. He's gonna sneak in there, and then he's gonna go and react internally to what's going on. And, uh... Is it only half nine? I feel like I've been staring at Starfinder books for four hours. Like I need a will save. Same as Relic. Uh, you need a will save and you will get one. Bear with me a sec. Rawr. I've accidentally turned the mouse <laughs> everything up. You just can't quite click on that character. <laughs> uh, you make the save, you only take uh, five damage. Mere fifth damage. <laughs> Cinco de damage roll. Close enough. Um, Five teen. Then it exists there, and then uh, I take it they do just do stamina damage. Yeah? Wait, they don't do. They oh don't no, do yeah, it's it's just damage. damage. It doesn't specify yeah, that it goes straight right. to hit points or anything, or like crazy psychic damage or anything. Callum would even try and attempt to describe as psychic damage, which you never want to hear ever. Um, just <laughs> just no, Callum. <laughs> um, don't, don't go there. I'm trying not to, uh, despite okay. bringing it up. <laughs> uh, okay, and then Zara, same for you. This big guy who runs through the wall. Stop it. Or bam. Just, just stop it. That's not a bad game, God, what is with these? They're good rules. What is with these D100s, <laughs> man? Hey, what is happening? I love it. It's so good. I don't. It's so typical though, right? Because how often would you roll so well in a D100 <laughs> when you want the lower numbers? It's just my luck in this game, in mm -hmm. general. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I've ever been so unlucky in a game before in my life. Right. I'm usually pretty decent. This is why I think you'll enjoy the Star Trek system, because you need to get ones in the Star Trek system on the oh, D20. and then I'll roll 20s, <laughs> look at this, Ryan. I need to get ones with the D100, okay? Right. I'm rolling 99s. Just take your goddamn damage of 10, okay? <laughs> well, you just don't let me click. Oh, because I've got the arrow. Because you got the select tool, buddy. Yeah. Fucking hell. Damn it. Oh, moves again to that room for that particular uh, scene. Oh, so I need to move the camera. Like, this is what's been happening, guys. This is what's happening up here. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Because you're obviously still here, watching it at this point, obviously. Uh, <laughs> if you are though, please put a comment and, I don't know, if your name's not offensive in some way, I'll maybe read it out. Crime bet 20,000 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that really offend, Colin? Right? The crime bitches. Um, I don't know. So, uh... Bring it on, zomboy. Right, okay. So, uh, the Battle of the Eternal Walker. Um, I, it can go there, and I guess it can shoot you. Like, I guess, Wabam. It cannot shoot you. Uh, and then, it's Zora. I did click uh, the button. So, so is that. Through the portal. Okay. So cheeky, and I love it. Hey, mate, hey, this is what you do. This is what they're for. <laughs> so cheeky. Uh, and then, do you want to know what? Uh, it's just getting blown up now, man. I'm not even going to let it roll. <laughs> like, I mean, it gets to roll, but it's still got to take damage. Like, I'm done with this shit. Okay. So, so right. you're going to start 
blowing things up in the ship. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, it's a crit for damage so far. Um. <laughs> so the momentary change of Boston energy, okay. Right. So uh, these are these are fifteen foot things, right? Ten foot. Ten foot. Uh, ten foot within fifteen foot, right? Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Basically, I've got to just keep on lining them up within fifteen feet each other. So what corner? What corner do you want to put the first one? I'll put. Uh, I wish there was a much easier way for me to point out. There is. It snapped a corner. Yeah, I guess. Like literally, like that. Like it's. Right. <laughs> so I guess for here, and then like. Yeah. So you need to put. So if you're wanting to blow this guy up, you're gonna need to put it like here or here, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be. I, I was just gonna like. I need to do the three data. Like, yeah. I'll put it there. I'll put it that okay, so let's let's do this like sequentially then, right? So let's let's get some tokens and we'll we'll, we'll just look at everything that blew up because we need to do yeah, that. Let's, so let's try to go file. right. So oh, that's that's, that, that's the wrong thing. That's another cheeky portal. Um, where's my token for this? Okay, copy that. Let's paste this in here and let me edit it so that I can. Okay, so you are now no longer a drawing. So you're a token. So I can edit you. Uh, these are ten foot things I need. Well, bam. Uh, I'm gonna change that to nine or eight foot to see if I can get it to to jank properly. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, I think is that a bit better? Five foot? No, I think it was right the first time. So let me edit this again. Adapt. Back to ten foot. And then turn it back to a drawing. And then shrink it a bit. There we go. Right, so you wanted the first one there? Yep. Okay, next one. So within uh, 15 uh, foot. Yeah, uh, we'll do. We'll just do like what uh, each, we'll like. uh, each of which cannot overlap and must be centered no more than the 15 foot away from the center of the. Of another radius. That doesn't make sense, right? It basically means they can't overlap. But like, like yeah, essentially, yeah, I can do that. Right? So I'll put one. I suppose yeah. the centers can't overlap, but it doesn't say that because they they will overlap, right? Like if you put this one, like here, right? So if I do this and pop one there, they overlap, but they're yeah. the right distance away. Must be said as double or fifty feet. Each of which can overlap. Must be said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does it make sense? Yep. And so special does it make sense? Would it become fifteen feet squares? So yep. We'll just we'll assume it's the centres. They mean, right? Even though it doesn't say that. Yeah, and then we'll put one right at the back there. Uh, Oh, that was there actually. Guess so. It doesn't overlap, but just somewhere in the back, yeah. It's still fifty-five feet, I believe. I'll do this. Like, I'm not cent on cent. I was gonna say, yeah. I need to know exactly where you're putting it because it needs to be a proper thing you can target. Right, right. So let's see if this actually is. Uh, Why aren't you snapping to corner? <laughs> I, I'm seeing if I can actually if this is even a legal move that I'm doing. It needs okay. to be sixty feet away. Yeah, I can do that. It's fifty-five feet. Uh, uh, it's not the I'll put it here. Okay. So you wanna put it on the wall? Yeah. Right. Okay. That's the uh, most terrain as well. I guess if that means if there's something sitting behind the wall, it may get hit as well. Uh, it does it. Who who even knows? Um, Energy that burns through the terrain. Know. That burns through the terrain when you use this ability. I think what that means just is that the, if the terrain's susceptible to being damaged, it will be. Does that what I mean? Like I think that's what it means. I think it just means that it ignores it because it doesn't actually say it ignores terrain, from what I can see. Like, ignoring terrain is a huge power, like probably a death effect level power. <laughs> 
Uh, so do you think this damage would um, translate through your wormhole? Uh, no, because it's only <laughs> ally teachers. You're trying to say your damage isn't your ally? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want me to take my damage, I'll take that. Um, <laughs> well, surely it'd be three, right? Unless you saved. Um, I'll, I'll need to check. See, I think they may have 22. I resist. Check. 22 rings a bell. Uh, uh, right, so... Oh, it's 20. That's 20. So, it would be right, so I need to make a reflex save, I think, is what we've learned from this mess. Yes, yes. I'll make a reflex save. Webam. That's a 7. So I'll take the full damage I, of 23. It's pretty good. Yeah? That's not bad. Pretty Yeah. As um, I'm going to leave them there, because yeah, obviously... it's going to happen the next turn again. Probably. Not only that, yeah. but I just feel like... That needs to be there so that the place looks trashed because you are obviously going to be starting to like destroy the structural integrity of the ship. Yay! Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Judging by my calculations, I'm in the centre of the ship, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's an interesting calculation you've done. Yep, I need to do. Mm. That, not the and then I need to do this. Okay, cool. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Let me worry about that. Is that a calendar? <laughs> uh, no. What the heck? Okay, it's fine. So, I'm assuming that's you. Yeah. This probably sounds explosive as well, doesn't it? Because it's called uh, was it Constellation Blast, right? Yeah. So yeah, like you want to just describe to Lyco and Weird what they probably hear from below deck. Uh, uh, so that boah. <laughs> exactly. Then. <laughs> a boah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, it's a momentary chain of. Aye, <laughs> uh, <I>, sure. <laughs> Just an energy. Uh, Defo. Probably looks like. Well, many supernova moves. I don't think they, they can't. They, I was gonna say yeah, they can't see it, but I just what what, what would they hear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is peak session sixty six material. I love it. Okay, so I think the ship rattles a bit. I think that's what you guys can feel. Maybe weird can't feel it if he's floating, but um, yeah, the ship definitely rattles a bit um, with the said that explosions. Um, and then we move to the party, the party area of the ship, and I'll just do the same again. So this is against Lyco for a full, with them. Fourteen at thirty-one hits. Thirty-one does hit, which again is quite offensive, mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm in zero, and now I have lost two health too. And then next um, next guy up's gonna do the same. Where bam, oof, two hits. Fuck's sake, right? Uh, so I am losing thirty-one health. So I miss or I roll thirty-one. I think's what I've learned. <laughs> so I am now on thirty-three health. Oh. I'm at half health, guys. <laughs> Yeek. Uh, and then the last guy is probably gonna go against weird still because they seem to be caught up in shenanigans. Uh, so, full attack against weird. Wibam. 28 hit you at all, weird? I don't think it does, does it? Yeah. So, what does minus 2 from squeezy? It does, okay, cool. So, take 16. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your KC anyway, generally? 29. Yeah, I thought it was beastie. Beastie. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that happens. Uh, and that's like, let's go. Right, um, <laughs> I'm going to have a repeat of that turn, focusing on that one and then taking a cheeky swing at that one. So basically first two on that guy below and then the third one on the... That's what I'm thinking. Okay, cool. So the full attack on the one directly below me. So that is a 27 it's, it's, and a 30. Yeah, so hit and a miss. Okay, so 12, I'll take that. Yep, good. And uh, the other one... And this is a 21. And up a miss. God. Um, 
Okay, my turn is over. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, going south quickly. As you both looks like get headaches and bleed slowly. I uh, have actual blood. Don't worry, I have a plan. Yeah? Probably an awful thing then to do. Yep, that's it. Game. Okay, yep. Does Dex get AC? Does Dex give you AC? Yes. <laughs> does? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I've been like. Probably dead myself with the AC this whole time. Ha! <laughs> 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 Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, yes. I, I should does have a your AC. does your armor your armor only should automatically? I was say, but does it also limit how much of your dex bonus you can use? Because I know some armors do that. Yeah, I use light armor, so no. Mostly, a lot of them cap out at four. Yeah, it doesn't tend to be I've, too much of an issue, but I, which means I should be getting up to plus three if I've got like. Plus three decks. Right? Weird, that's a 21 and a, twel a 10, right? I was going to say a, tw a 12 there, but like I said, it's a 10. Yeah. yeah. So, it's a miss. I'm oh. out. Okay. I'm about to use my inspiration for you, girl. Okay, sure. Where, where do you have that from? <laughs> <laughs> it's in one of the books, right? Do you know what? Go for it. Reroll. <laughs> Why not? You looked through a whole fuck ton of books. That's yeah. what I don't think so. <laughs> My brain has gone so much. That's you just throw your armor at them and run. Yep. <laughs> That's twenty one. Yeah, it's still a miss. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I did. Try, I, I tried, right? I tried. <laughs> That's the perfect inspiration roll, though, isn't it? Where you're all the same number anyway. Let's take them. Oh, it's still it's actually the least exciting thing to happen seeing you roll with inspiration. And even if it's a hit or a miss, rolling the same number is the most boring thing unless it's a crit. I mean, I did one of my mates, one of my players the other day, got a nat one. Um, mm. And you rolled into another nat one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually heartbreaking. Uh, Everyone cheers. Alright, so your AC is right. I've got to assume so. Okay. Well, I mean, that can be your homework throughout the week, right? Um, I'm going to add today some homework, because that'd be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> uh, carry on. <laughs> maybe just building a second Zora up to level 10 from scratch, maybe. Not a terrible piece. Anyway, so, uh, it's my goal, I guess. Um, yeah, I think it's still going to go for you, to be honest. Uh, like, oh, I need to work out. I'm increasingly upset by this. I need to work out what this thing does because it has a thing that I generally do not know what it, what it can do. Uh, and you know how much the rule book will be good. Um, so I'm just gonna Google it and hope that I get an answer. Okay, this looks like I'm getting an answer. So, a uh, interesting. Okay. Right. I don't know how this works, but I think I need to hit for it to work. So that's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. But I'll try and hit. So the thing's going to do a full attack with its gun <laughs> to try and pull this off. Because basically, I think it needs to crit, so I may as well go for two attacks on the hope it can crit. So, this will be against you, Michael. Wabam. None of those will hit. No. And it's KC still. Quite yeah. catastrophic, not. <laughs> you probably just see syringes stick into the, the back of these the zomboids, quite frankly. Um, as the, like you know, these are all ducking and diving and yeah. smashing each other, um, and the thing just starts reloading, I guess, because yeah, that's what it does. Uh, and as for like right that, um, it's gonna go there, and then we know what's gonna happen. So I'm not even gonna like. Oh, I guess I will just paste it. Fine. Zora. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so I kind of roll. I usually roll ten damage on this two d ten roll, and you usually roll ninety nine on your concealment. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, Calum, he like my greys have um, twenty percent concealment, right? So I need to roll a twenty or lower to get hit. Uh-huh. He's he's got fifty percent concealment. <laughs> like arguably, much much better concealment. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Fucking hell! Uh, ah, <sighs> uh, yep. Take the ten damage, full damage. So it's that nine actual health damage I've done to you now. You're also muted, by the way. We can't hear you through any of this, Nico. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was. Uh, it's just so dumb. Um, I don't know how far that moved. I, I want to say it was there. Oh. I, I had to check. I had to roll. It's like, no, man. Don't roll to the 99s in a row. Okay, so this thing's going to boost and run through the, the wall. Okay. Uh, okay. So... Boy. Yeah, he's he's here. Um, what can he even do? I mean, I guess he can just... He can still go here, and then shoot. Wabam. Wabam. Oh, 32. EAC. Oh sure. <laughs> the back uh, yeah, you're getting there. Yep. <laughs> Man. Remember that would be what seven damage then you take, right? Because you're immune to fire. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For twenty damage at least of it. True, true. I had to take the full damage. I forgot about that. Plus yep. Seven. See? See folks at home, this is what being a good GM's about. Lightning. Silver lightning's not up. I mean, electricity's kind of silver, I guess. In no way. <laughs> In zero way. Uh, well, it's your go, though. So. Also, uh, for the I'm probably this. Also, I keep forgetting to move the camera up so people can see the status quo, but they know it's just the place is exploding, so. I'll probably miss unless it explode again, but then. Ship might explode. And it's a really weak ship if it explodes, right? I feel like though, with the explosion noise over comms, right? I feel like maybe Isabel would have been like... Was that an explosion? Again? Um... Yeah. Okay. Everything might still be fine here. Still here if you need backup. I mean, the shuttle... Part A1, back here. Part A1. We probably should have that back up now. Uh, well, if you're asking, I guess at best. And, uh, yeah, the comms just go quiet. Okay. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Blop! Through my bumhole. And I'll shoot that. I'll move Zig outside, just because why not? Thank you. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. That seems like um, um, yeah. Just, just, just don't worry about it. <laughs> there was an explosion don't from worry below about decks. It. Better than ours. Finally, actually hit. Was that EAC? Yeah. Ah, yes, it does hit. Yes, you'll be glad to know. Yeah, yeah, you go, buddy. Oh, that is the wrong number. Where is that? There we go. Nice. <laughs> that gun finally, finally showing its worth. Mm. <laughs> it's on the side. 
One in five. What's that? That's how many shots you hit. Okay. <laughs> 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 I thought that was the scale. You're not wrong. <laughs> I was going to say one in a hundred, but I thought that was a bit harsh. Um, okay, wormholes tick down. And then it's the the upstairs party. Let's me move the camera. Okay. The actual fuck is happening in this place. So Okay. Uh Oh, Lyco. You're up first. Where bam. A twenty three and a thirty. Thirty hits. Oof. I am down to what seventeen health. Okay, I need to do a fort save for this guy. Wabam. And it can. This is getting bad, guys. <laughs> That's fine. I do a fort save for the other guy. Okay, and I think that is still okay. Oh, it's on this page. There we go. Yeah. I'm not going to look up what any of the rest of that means, but that's fine. And then the next guy probably is. Yeah, I know. He's gonna, I but he's probably going to do one against you and one against the guy that just shot him in the back. Um. So that's something. So we'll do a full attack. One against you, so number one against you and number Save two against... Save you're my only hope. Uh, basically, yeah. Um, we're bam. So 25 against you and a 21 against it. I'm in two health. Does the 25 hit you? Ooh. 25 doesn't hit me, sorry, no, I'm an idiot. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, what? I, <laughs> I, was, I, I was like mentally adding more to it. <laughs> oh, this whole time! <laughs> um... <laughs> But uh, the grey gets hit, because um, obviously it's not expecting that thing to just swing round wildly, um, which is not ideal. So yeah, it, the grey looks fucked up. Um, can you move Zig? Uh, yes, I can. I, I'll put Zig there. I'm going to use the power of strategy. <laughs> oh no, um, I'm not finished my turn though. Oh, so. And then this is all going to be against weird, probably. Yeah. So this is all against weird. Whoop! A twenty-nine oh. and a twenty-eight both hit, don't they? I don't like this. No, because that's uh, was that thirty-two damage. Uh, yeah. Mm. How bad is it looking? Oh, it's bad, isn't it? Mm. What's that gene health? Fourteen because I forgot my healing last time. Yeah, eek, right? Yep. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So I mean you have comms, right? And the captain. Mm. Yes. Uh, things are probably a bit too hectic to really think too much about it at the moment. Mm. That is something you Oh, excuse me. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to this spot using my trick attack and attack this zombie. Sure, yeah. More important that we get one off the board and spread damage. This was my mistake. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go there. Okay. I'm going to uh, make my roll uh, using sense motive with the plus 4 so it's a 28 that's against uh, 20 plus CR the enemy that's fine yep fine mm -hmm, yep. ok so it will be fat footed and take the extra damage ok um, let me pip that so in some fashion just... I think I was just pipping them with like random things to indicate they were affected in some way why not? <laughs> Why instead? Um, <laughs> right, uh, yeah. So I will now make the attack and hope it doesn't spin it out of the sun. Okay. Uh, and it's against the only one I can. 
That's against KAC. Oh. Yeah. Even with flat footed, it's gonna still it's miss. Like yeah. yeah. Alas. Oh, that's been really good if it yeah. him. Um, such is life. Mm -hmm. um, or death effects. Death. <laughs> yeah. I, I, think, I think I will call the captain and say, Captain, it's really going <laughs> south here in the, uh, in the, I wouldn't call it, oh, in the bridge. Uh, that is my turn. Okay. Uh, you can reply if you want. It's all right. And the bridges. <laughs> Conventionally in front of the ship, Captain. The back. Right you entered from the back. Okay. I'll be like that. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Uh. Right. Weird. <laughs> and then I will also upgrade my defenses against this dude. Okay. Cool. And that's my turn. Cool. You'll just remind me those things are in effect as we go. Um, yes. Not in death effect, just in effect. Um, okay. Uh, effect. Right. Well, the grey, having had its ass handed to it. You know, shaking its head, trying to like scamper and pick up its um, syringes. It clearly dropped after the you know zomboid smacked it about. Is um, <laughs> gonna like activate a button on its wrist and then a, uh, you know, just look up at everybody meaningfully and then just face through the wall. Same. It's um, yeah, like where you could probably see it outside. Um. If you know, I'll, I'll move it so you can actually see it. It's just like randomly floating away, just randomly floating outside, away. <laughs> uh, right, and then this one. Uh, goes, probably goes the other way. I'll nip in there, and I'll then move there and take a wee cheeky shot at the captain. So, wha-bam, and wha-bam. Yep, it's gonna hit. <laughs> <laughs> what? The blank duke. What the? Is that like the that's fourth? That's wildly like, improbable. That's like the fourth time you've rolled ninety nine on a D one hundred. That is mad. Like, what is this actual <laughs> game right now? Uh, um, I mean, if we're all gonna roll a D one hundred, why not? He's all lose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, because if we were rolling for your concealment, we would have not been hit. <laughs> uh, Neither would we. <laughs> 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 At least I save, right? That's something. Michael, do you want to give us a D100 just to see if you passed the threshold as well? Sick. Nah, Michael would have got hit, so that makes you feel better. Uh, not really. One, like, okay. I it might just happen somehow. <laughs> right, what's what's <laughs> happened, Zora? What you tell me what's happened? You've just been uh, uh, mind whammed. So, did you take uh, your damage? Yeah, I took my damage. Cool. Oh, uh, you see the thing, like little fucking wrist thing, bleep at it. Um, and then, I think technically it moved. 20. Okay, so it's gonna start. It's, yeah, it's, it's just gonna go. It can't quite go there, so it's gonna stay in the room, but it's gonna move down one. Okay, that's fine. 
a webm. I think we know what happens here. Mm. I think but, um, I think it's going to stay put and then do a full attack with its gun. Ooh. Just to be different. I figured. <laughs> I'm basically just rolling for crits at that point. Um, and then it's over. Right, so we'll Your comm blinks uh, and uh, Isabel comes on and says uh -huh. um, Shuttle sensors are picking up another ship on approach. Um, I would have noticed it because it's nearly docked the ship but it's on the other side of it and the sensors are only just picking up now. So, I think we're about to have guests. And then, ah. um, and, uh, yeah, I think um, what we'll do is we will go to a cutscene, right? Go to a cutscene, and uh, we have this little, uh, little grey that's floating in space. Floats through space as it <laughs> jumped out of the bridge wall, and I just slowly the camera sees it pan through space as it slowly its skin starts to crystallize, and then it just seems to pass through some invisible barrier. And um, the ship it's in decloaks, shimmers open, uh, and then like positions itself alongside the the ship. It's a uh, Little buddy, uh, it makes a run for it, uh, and just bolts right past Zora. Um, so like the little grey just runs through the walls, and then from the cutscene angle we see it jump and leap into the uh, <laughs> just into outer space. As it then like you know zips into this other ship, and then that ship boosts the hell away. And that happens before Isabel, it's calm, goes. So she's talking about a different ship that appears and it starts to come alongside the uh, top airlock of the Kivalari at the other side. And the doors kawoosh open and we have a zig step onto the ship. Which one? Ah. <sighs> so. That's what Zig says, by the way. Just yeah. Just to be clear. Just opens airlock doors, they could wish, and he goes, Ah, <sighs> yeah, I like that. Um, so, would you like to roll initiative for me, Zig? I don't know if I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Right, I'll actually put you on the. Uh, I'll put me where I am, okay, I'll put that token. Shaboom! Okay, and I'll put you in the order. Where you go. Perfect. Excellent. Fundaba. And uh, I say we do. Another, another full round, and we'll see what happens. So, let's see how this goes. Sora, please continue your turn. Isabel has just explained that it expects guests. Maybe no, maybe no Zora then. Oh, 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 it is, it is. I'll go from my port to swoosh. I will go there, swoosh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, as 10, go up. So, remember we discussed this? You're there, right? And then you would need to walk around it. So I'd let you go diagonally if you want. Okay. Because you can't uh, walk uh, back uh, through your port, because if you go there, you'll just end up here again. Uh, uh, right, so, right, 5, 10, 
So yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm moving the wrong things. Okay. Right. So I'll go through the portal. I'll go there. I'll take the attack Five. opportunity. Go there. Okay. I'll do that just now. With them. And with them. 33, 17 damage. Of course he hits. Of course I hit. Of course he hits. <laughs> that was a horrible so attack. As well. Yeah, you are. Uh, oh. Yep, I'll move yeah, you up. Up. I'll move you up with them. Five. Oh, 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 where's my things went busy? I'm just gonna refresh this club because that's when it's busy. Do you mean roll twenty, but yeah. <laughs> the, the, that's my bad. That is okay. I got, I got you, buddy. It's like flickering repeatedly. <laughs> very nice. Uh do I make a noise? <laughs> I think you made noises. <laughs> I'll try. I've got 15 feet now. So, five, then. Okay. Uh, I can sprint. Do I want to. I guess I'll sprint. Okay. Uh, ba, ba. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> and I'll just so go here. Yeah. Stay in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll stay. It's weird because you've not like. Are you literally in the like, the, the doorway? Because it's it's one behind on my recording screen, which is weird. There we go, it's updated now, it's fine, it's updated, we're good, we're good. Cool, yeah. Nice. Uh, right. And then it is... Where are we? That was our wormhole taken away. It's these guys. So, this guy's flat-footed till your turn, right? Glycol. Yes. The guy in front of you slaps you till your turn, right? Okay. Well, let's just assume so. That'll, that'll be fine. Double check. Uh, so, yeah, he's got, he's probably still going to go for you. I don't see why he wouldn't, quite frankly. Um, Good luck. We're better. Um, a 20 and a 14. And if it's flat footed, I don't think that gets affected. Neither would hit. That's good. 29 you need. And then. Um, okay, I'm, I'm alive for now. And then I'll do the one against a. Uh, like, so this guy was looking for a grey. Um, and then there's no grey. But it, the way he's looking, there is a big lizard man. Grr. Thank you, meat shield. So he's going to walk yeah. that way and then. Probably weird's gonna do a reaction, right? Yeah, so punch. What about? Um, where did I put my punch? Can you do an unarmed? Um, don't you need a well, melee? I don't think you can actually. Is this? I don't, like it's obviously, a game that doesn't allow it with unarmed strikes. I'm pretty sure. Well, D and D doesn't unless you're a monk. I'm sure. Um, you might not even be able to do it as a monk. Actually, um, you might need to use your monk weapon for reactions. This That's is all new to me. I mean, I, think, I can't remember. It's worth I looking mean, up now. Let's face it. Let's just quickly, quickly have a glance. I, know, I think is it not the weird thing that in D and D it says you make a weapon attack, but unarmed does count as a weapon attack. I. Uh, They've clarified it. But this isn't D&D, so does it work no, I'm in this? I'm just making the point on D&D. Just uh, I have been... played a game that that's a rule, and I can't think of any other mm -hmm. game I've played that... Yeah. It'll be under that movement nonsense, right? So uh, Probably 2, 4, 5, maybe? Was that a number that felt like movement rules? Somewhere in that region? Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Moving reactions. Attack of opportunity, 248. 
Uh, let's go to 248. Uh, as a melee attack you make against a target you threaten, on your turn you can use your ration to make an attack in three cases. When you threaten a space, move a melee attack against... No, it just says melee attack multiple times, yeah. and this is a melee attack, which is fine by me. Yep, good. Yeah, and I do think in d, &D I think you are able to do unarmed. Cool. So, uh, I'm sure as written you can't, but if they've clarified they meant it that way, that should yeah, be good. Yeah, they, they play to clarify that unarmed weapons count as... Uh, weapon attacks, but not attacks with weapon. Okay, good. <laughs> it does make sense for monks, though, right? It yeah. does. Yeah, although well, that, 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 that applies to everyone. It's not even a specific monk thing. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. It's solid rule, anyway. I, mean, I, I just mean it was really punishing for monks, is what I mean. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That hits. Yeah, that's a good one. Yes. 22 bludgeon. Nice. Nice. Or, in fact, see, because you're squeezing, can you take reactions? There's another thing. Does Entangled let you react? Uh, I'm going to page 276. Entangled. Uh, yeah, no, nothing about reactions in there. Uh, good. There we go. Good. That was weird because I, I know D&D's Entangled, I think, stops you doing that. Um, good, good, perfect. Illegal attack, nicely done. And then it's going to have a go at Zora. It moved, so it's not a full attack. Wah bam. 26 to hit your KC, good. And then the last guy against. Um, no. That's fine, that should be completely fine. I was like, is there a horrible chain of events where you reacting to some guy moving but still being engaged with another guy triggers his reaction to hit you? It's like, please no. No. <laughs> the reaction triggered a reaction. Well, the thing is, it does work for things like Counterspell, though. So... Yes. Um, uh, I think it would have been the case, potentially, if I had a feat that allows me to use uh, a ranged weapon to make opportunity attacks. If right. I'm just because using a ranged weapon while being threatened. Okay, well this guy's just going to mull at you anyway, so we're, we're, we're good. Uh, that is, sadly, one hit, isn't it? Uh, okay. I think that's exactly what you had, isn't it? Uh, no, that gets through my uh, temporary hit point. Well, almost through my temporary hit points. Oh good, okay. What are you on now for 10 HP? Uh, I've got 1 temp HP and 15 hit points. <laughs> good, okay. Yeah. Oh, you're on one health? No, no. No? That is after the attack. Oh, I have oh, right. I have 16 temp HP and I gain one temp HP and one HP around. Right okay, okay. Like my, my I've got two energy shields up at the moment, so one's slightly more effective than the other. Um, yeah. uh, and that is oh, I've skipped. Like oh, sorry, that, I knew that double click would come up and put me this, but luckily the wormholes are gone anyway. The wormholes uh, were already gone. Uh, get rid of the hold wormholes. On. Uh, it's your go, buddy. Anyway. Headset issue is temporarily fixed. It is setting weirdly. Um, right, yes. Lyco. Um, what is the play here? How banged up is the one in front of me looking? Uh, honestly, they're all still about the same. In terms of like degradation, I full attack it. Okay, that's a good man. So take my main full attack first. That's a thirteen and a twenty-four. Uh, twenty-four hits, yeah. And my other full attack. So that is that work. That's a twenty-nine. Yeah, that'll oh hit. God, lowest damage. Ooh, everything. A lot of one. So it's a twenty. It's good. Oh, man. And uh, that being a full attack is my. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's your boy. Alrighty. So, Alrighty uh, then. So, I guess I'm going to go. Wait, hold on. Are they doors? Uh, they're supposed to be, but apparently I didn't draw them as such, so I'll I'll move you in. Yeah, apparently, you... They apparently don't have doors, but they are doors. They're airlocks. Cool. Right, okay, so I move there. 
which is part of my movement, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. I guess I go left. Uh, and that's my movement. And I guess I'll dash. Uh, is that your movement now? I, I thought you had 25. 30, yeah. that, well, that wasn't 30, that was only 15. 15 well, it's total. 20 total, sorry. 20 total is what you've used. Yeah, 30 total. Oh, okay, so I've got another 10. Mm -hmm. 10 to here. Alright, okay, so what's the deal with here? Is this just stairs? Uh, no, that would be you dropping. So, okay, so, the, so, so if I put uh, you there, where you were, that's the drop, right. and that's oh, the way down. Okay, so it's coming down this way. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, what was that 25? Uh, I mean, 20. I'm, I'm going to highlight the fact that you can see. Oh, I'll oh, we'll move you back. Oh. I want to measure. There we go. Like. Oh, I can see through that door. Okay. I, I mean, you can see through that door. Oh, right. I'll go that way. <laughs> like, you you can see through that door. There is no, like, that door is open. Yeah, I know. My brain just didn't accept that though. Right. Because I'm going to move there. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do you want to do anything now that you've moved there? Uh, let me see. <laughs> that looks like the captain over there. Yeah. That looks like something threatening the captain. It does, yeah. The mm -hmm. captain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hmm. What does the captain look like? Fucked. Does he look pretty mangled? It's all right. About half mangled, but not quite as bad as the other two that you kind of see. But oh half, man, I, know, I, I had half to be in my head. I don't have any ranged healing. What am I talking about? <laughs> that would be too easy. Um, too easy. Okay, in that case. <laughs> All right. Okay. In that case, what I'll do is I'll spend a resolve point, uh, and I shall cast a spell. Do you need to spend resolve to cast this particular spell? I did. I didn't spend a resolve. For well, this every day, prepare to be irradiated. <laughs> uh, I cast shield other. Oh um, my! So oh. Zora essentially <laughs> takes half damage. Sorry for uh, for how many hours? For D hours? D. For that many hours. Yes, for the hours. Um, I assume ten. <laughs> hours. I mean, for d hours. I I, um, I doubt yeah. it, but okay. Let me let me check. Hold on. It's also quite a good spell because it basically means they need to deal like your stamina still takes damage. Like like Zora's would still take damage if Zora had any stamina left, but if you take their HP damage, the half of it that you I absorbed, you can yeah, that's quite nice. It's a nice one. Yeah. One of the, the few things. It's also not a death effect, so we're good. Um, Yay! Um, I can't find out how long it is. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me look it up. Well, if it's hours, it'll uh, be longer than so that. Oh, I really typed in shield hour. Fucking hell. Um, also, actually. The hours are under attack. Yeah, no, the duration is one, one hour. hour per level, yeah. yeah. So ten Fucking hours. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. That is ten hours. Okay. Yep. Brilliant. Oh, uh, what, I, is, what does it look myself. like? Um. So, it looks like, um, basically, it kind of like scampers up. And he goes, oh, Captain. And he just kind of, almost with that, even like, it's like, you know, he kind of like just freezes like mid run and just like instantly like eyes close. His hands come into that sort of like stereotypical meditation, like circle pose thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just like eyes closed. And then when his eyes open, his like fingers ping and this just sort of like sun shimmer just goes over the door. Sarah, you're all shimmery and sun like. Ah, uh, cool. Like you're, you're like, I didn't ask for photon mode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in photon mode, god damn it. I'm in graviton. <laughs> oh dear. Why, gods, why? <laughs> okay, yeah. And uh, I think that's Zig. So that's the Zig's turn, yeah. We're back to weird.
I am going to beat mm -hmm. down on this one. Okay. Um, just adjust my eye. <laughs> Not just guarding step through the floor, no. Yeah, I considered it. <laughs> but, uh, I feel like I've got him on the ropes. It's the phrase goodbye Lyco though, isn't it? It's the bye. <laughs> oh my god. Those are bad rolls, buddy. That is what is classically called a bad miss. Mm -hmm. Okay, good man. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Okay. I see what you're doing to me. Kill us. Kill us all. So that's going to go, I guess, that way. Um... In fact, technically, no, it's not going to do that. It's going to do a wee cheeky roll. That's what it's going to do. It's going to do a webm. Okay. And, yeah. It's just going to, I guess, go a wonder. I'm going to get rid of these um, explosions now. Oh, yeah, I've made that explosion bigger. That was not what I wanted to do. You can go away. Uh, right, so. And uh, that was that. It's a uh, Zora school. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh, one hose. <laughs> one next to Lyco. Okay. One behind me. So, one behind you pointing away? Yep. Because remember, that'll block you. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Can I walk through that without incurring. I don't think I can. A guarded step. Like oh, yeah, got the steps here. Alright, two seconds to put these down. Right, so you want one facing that way to block you, and then we want one facing. Well, wait, uh, like let, me see, let me see. Let, let, let me double check this. Uh, well, I see if I can add up here. Why is it? Why not if I can put it here, like pointing outwards? As I said, I don't think you can because that's not really a grid intersection. It's a wall. It's a grid, right? It's not I mean, up I mean technically, it's not based on the map because the wall is in that square, not at the edge of that square. And this map has a grid on it, so it wasn't me that decided that was where I had to go. Wish I said if there were actually one well, It says it needs to be like through two squares. Yeah, no, I wish it had more details about the actual nature of the wormhole, but here we are. I am. I think because it needs to be between two squares, you can't put it between two squares there because there's a wall in your way. So it needs to... Could I know... It does this say that they're like one-sided? Can I just like... And it says that I can exit whatever portal I want. So does that mean I can just walk in the back and come out the other side? Eh, uh, what pages were we on? We'll have a look. It's like a hundred and three or four or something, let me double check. Let's have a quick nosy at this and we'll see. It's quite it's a around hundred and four mark, I know that. It's quite a it's quite a hefty hefty one's not so it's a hundred and uh, where am I looking? So it's a hundred and seven. Let me have a quick read. Uh, you can create two linked wormholes as a standard action. One wormhole must be adjacent to you. Well there we go, there is something we probably need to always pay attention to. Yeah, that's why I've always had one next. Mm -hmm. Must be adjacent to you. And the other appears anywhere in line of sight within 100 feet plus 10 feet per solarian level. Each wormhole is 5 feet across and appears at an intersection between two squares. You and any large or smaller creatures you mentally designate uh, you can, it tells you how you can designate people can travel between the wormholes. This is considered extra-dimensional travel. I'm guessing there's a fucking whole list of effects that affect that. If that's a death effect, Lyco can't do it if he uses his minute thing. And uh, <laughs> entering a wormhole instantly teleports you. Uh, transports a creature to a square adjacent to the other wormhole's intersection. Where the creature can continue its movement. The wormholes remain for one round for every slurring. Uh, 
one round for every two Solarian levels, hence for five. And then at 17 we don't need to really read that because there's no point, because we're not 17. Uh, yeah, that's why I never read that, because it didn't say anything that would affect the earlier um, thing. Yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't say that then, that they're one-sided. But I feel like hmm, you create two linked wormholes. Interesting. Because it doesn't say you're creating portals. Hmm. I feel like wormholes have a way in and a way out. You know? Yeah. It's interesting. Very interesting. It's a special wormholes. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, like, do you know something? I'll, I'll give you if you want them double sided. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it gets, it takes away a lot of annoyances of them. You get one though, sure. you get one way, what way do you want them to be? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it the way I said. Okay, double sided, cool. Because I just want to know how I can use them to abuse you. Okay. That's fine, that's Cool. Uh, I wish it gave you more about what can enter or what can enter it, because if someone shot into one, does that work? I, mean, I guess if I just like designate all allied creatures, then it, and it's not an allied creature, it doesn't go through it. Even if it's like, I guess if I said like all matter or something, I guess then you could shoot through it. Yeah. The argument I have to that is all allied creatures, then they go through and they're naked. <laughs> right? <laughs> do, you, do you see my point? So like True. stuff seems to be ambivalent to that. Interesting. Very interesting. I would have to assume it would just be anything that was on an ally. Right? Oh, I mean, there's like oof, yeah. Forest. Like, I mean, it, it definitely doesn't say that. Who but I these? mean, these are. These? This is the interpretation bullshit you need to go through. The dance of dances. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say anything powerful enough to push through the barrier can go through it. Um, if that means a normal guy shooting a gun can't, but somebody magical could fucking fireball through it. Who knows? But okay. So yeah. Uh, uh, how does this look? A, a wormhole <laughs> opens up next to you, then, I guess, Lyco? Uh, and I'll say, like I said, don't worry about wormholes. Like, why get through it? <laughs> Let's see if I can actually survive long enough. <laughs> I'm hoping you can, and it's a bit the only thing I can think of to help you. Um, That's cool. <laughs> I, will, I will use it if I am able. So, here's the other thing. There's Obviously, if they're double sided, I feel like there needs to be an A and B follow. side. No, I, I just mean no, no, because no. If he's designated, so he's obviously going to make sure yeah. they can't follow. But if they're double sided, every side has to have an A and a B, right? Oh, oh, what do you, what do you mean? oh right, right, right. You mean like a like for example, the right side. If you so left side. like for example, if if you've got side A for yours and side B is at the other side of it, right? And you've gave Lyco side A and side B is at that that chair above him. Lyco can't get into you because you're standing in that square. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I mean. Like, I'll basically, I'll, so I'm still going to use these same that. icons because it still links them with the light out one side. Just control Z it away. So the light is still going to reflect the side of the wormholes that are linked. So do you want to finish telling me how you want these laid out? Because that currently lets Lyco walk behind you. Yeah, um, and it lets you walk cool. into the square above Lyco if you had to. Makes sense. Oh, I mean, I, I, Lyco would. I, I, that's kind of what I would want it to be. Yeah, that's the way I would think. If there are two different the sets of doors, yeah. So Lyco yeah. will walk up, and then he'll exit behind you. Yeah. Which means if you walked back, you'd exit above Lyco where he is now. Yeah. Makes sense. Good. So yeah. That's how your double-sided ones will work. There'll be an A and a B side for both. And you can tell me how they, they are laid out. Cool. cool. And you're happy with the way they're laid out? Yeah. Good. Fine. Okay. I can't really think then, I'll play the That's fine. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Weird, weird might be able to use it if it gets rid of that guy that's in front of him. Uh, a tight squeeze. 
uh, but he'd end up on you. Yeah, I'll hopefully be the way by then. Uh, hopefully. Okay, where were you going to go? Uh, I was actually going to run through... The... We'll see. Okay. We'll see how it okay. goes. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, right. right, it's me, I guess. Yeah, sadly like oh, there is only one path, and that path is the path of pain. It's, I mean, I don't do this out of uh, any kind of joy. I do it out of obligation. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. I'm um, going to assume you do probably need to track that negatively, I do. probably. Um, let me just myself do zero. <laughs> now, does uh, this guy. <laughs> first person to go down out of the entire group. Mm. Um, and so. I had 17, so that puts me at negative 15. You should have done like right. all the maths and the token. Got that. What do you mean do the maths and the As in, you click in the circle with your health on the token and then just type in minus x and put in the number and hit enter and it does the maths for you. Oh, I, I just used the character sheet. Right, okay. Well, the tokens have the health on them for that reason. Well, <laughs> um... So we'll put in, anyway, now I've lost, uh, uh, minus 15, yeah, minus 15. Okay. Uh, and it's, I have to go down to minus, what is it, my health? Why? It, it's you, uh, if you take damage from a single attack, you could not greater than your maximum hit points. Isn't that 5 No, I'm looking at the math, massive damage section here. Okay, cool. What, say that again for me, sorry? It's a, it's a single attack that does equal to or greater than your maximum hit points. Yeah. So what? Uh, you what don't, happens? You don't need to track negatives. Right. Okay. Okay. So that doesn't matter then with negative health. I'm just at zero. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I do need to do death saves though, but I presume that start this turn. Uh, uh, pff, yeah. Let's, let's look up how death works, shall we? Dying. If you are here, zero hit points, you are dying. While dying, you lose one resolve point each round at the end of your turn. Uh, you can use a resolve points to stabilize, can't I? Pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can do stuff with resolve for I this think that's exact the main reason. Point of them, to be yes, honest. agreed. Um, let me just double check some points. You find a number of resolve points equal to one quarter of your maximum to stabilize. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that'd be. Or B? No. Well. Right, so you've got nine. nine so right? it would so be two, right? If you're stable and have enough result points, uh, you can spend one RP at the beginning of your turn to regain one HP. You're no longer dying, immediately become conscious, and can take the rest of your turn as normal. So, then you can spend three RP to stabilize and then spend other RP in subsequent to gain. Um, yeah. So it doesn't that would be a subsequent turn, right? That would yes. Be... Yeah, so you so need to stabilise first, and you can spend a result point to stand up. So what was okay. the quarter thing, sorry? So that's the cost to stabilise. It says here 3 RP to stabilise here on mine. That's uh, page 275 of a uh, dying. Uh, I mean, the stabilised section says uh, <laughs> a minimum of 1 and a maximum of 3. Interesting. On 251. Yeah, I did see that mass somewhere else as well. Someone was quoting it as the it's a quarter with a minimum of one and a maximum of three. So it's right, well, what's a quarter of nine? <laughs> well, uh, two or three. Two. Yeah, that's weird that they can't keep their rules consistent there. Well done. Yup. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we um, we know we hate this system though. We know we do. So, uh, <laughs> Can I just count myself as being down two resolve points and stable? Yeah, because I don't think I want to go into the... They'd probably want you to have... Th it cost you three, so let's just have it be two. Okay. Because I feel like the rounding down does benefit you when it should. Yeah. Uh, so I am officially stable, um, but obviously if this thing whacks me more, that's yeah. a problem. Um, and I think you need to do that on your turn, right? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. But that's okay. You can you can obviously like you can keep that there because I assume you're going to do that. Because this because this thing's obviously already full attacked you. I was actually just looking at. 
So not long ago when I look when I look for the death effect. No, I've got more. I have him. more I need to ask though. So that first hit did that to him. What does his AC become for the second hit? Um. <laughs> right? Because obviously, is he no user to hit? He's unconscious. So it's whatever the unconscious effect is. It makes it, it just. I'm realizing that these are sequential. To, uh, yeah. yeah. Not to be that guy, but I think that's a. Unconscious. <laughs> uh... Knocked out and helpless, apparently. Okay, there we go. So there's two other things to look at. Uh, helpless, your dex modifier is minus 5, and incoming oh, wow. melee attacks get a plus 4. So. Okay. so that's a 22, and I would lose. I would be in a negative mod for my dex, right? I'd Keep in mind it says. Forward. So, your dex modifier is minus 5. Oh, my dex modifier, right. So that. Mm -hmm. that it's a KC of 24. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it would take away just a straight up. Chunk. Oh no, it wouldn't even because twenty four, twenty, twenty. Uh, sorry, twenty nine, uh, including the four I get. So minus five is twenty. So yeah, it yeah. hits with the other damage. But it's also getting a plus four, yeah, to that. So yeah, it hits. right. So you, obviously it doesn't kill you, but what does the other hit do? Does that scrape away resolve or does it just do nothing? Does it count as a crit? Yeah, I think I lose one if I take yeah, so one damage while dying. Damage. Um, I, I, I literally was looking at a flow chart earlier when I looked up the death save stuff. It mm -hmm. wasn't related to death, the death effects, but it was related I mean, to considering death. we need to learn this at 66 sessions, I think we're doing okay. But I mean, I still feel like you have done good. Death flow chart. Here we go. I knew I'd found it. Right, so. Um, uh, are see. you stable? Okay. So I'm not stable yet. One resolve point at any point after that in the round. If a single source such as an attack deals hit point damage, but not greater than half your maximum. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, first time in, you know, I lose one RP. So I'll put that down to six, because I'm definitely going to use the other two in my turn. Right, no okay, if you take damage while unconscious but stable, you're again dying in the lower stable. I'm not stable yet. But you're not because it's not your turn. Okay. If you take damage equal, uh, greater than half your max damage yeah. but less than your, uh, sorry, half your max HP but less than your max. Greater than HP. half but less than the entirety of it, yeah. Probably well. Yeah. And you lose an additional. Yeah. Right, so the, the whole section does say. While you were dying, which you are at the moment, so you went down first, then you became dying, then the second hit hit because of the maths involved. Yeah. If you have any stamina points, any remaining damage reduces those first, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting, but yeah, that's fine. The first time each round you take hit point damage, yeah. whether from an attack or from a continuous damage, such as bleed effect, you lose one resolve point. Right? Um, at any point after that in the round, if a single source such as one tack, uh, deals hit point damage greater than half your maximum, blah, 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 blah. you lose an additional one. So you would lose one from that attack. Yeah. Um, so you would be going from nine down to yeah. eight. And then, so you're eight just now. I'm counting it as six. No, I'm nope, say make yourself eight. Make myself eight. Yep. And then. I, as mentioned earlier, if you would lose resolve points but have no resolve points, you die instantly. If you take damage equal to a grit, then uh, you do die instantly. Yeah, we know that part. If you take damage while unconscious but stable, you are once again dying. Okay, that yeah. all makes sense. Perfect. Good. So, luckily that didn't make you spend stuff to stabilize and then get attacked again. So that was fine to like ruin that. So you've lost one, and it's still the same math, so it'll still be two to yeah. stabilize. Cool. Because it's not your remaining, is it? It's your total max. Total. Does that make? Is that? I'm asking. I'm not confirming. No, it is. Cool. Okay, that makes sense. Fucking hell. Okay, Zora, just take a full attack for me, please. Just, just take a full attack. Let's just be done. I hope I don't take it. There's 22 and 18. Oh my god. And then, weird. Same for you, buddy. Well, that is a 30. 
just run away. Yeah. I, run think away. You, I think you're now in the same boat, aren't you? Nope. Oh, you're... I'm a generation. I'm on 2 HP. Okay. I see. Are explosions out of the picture here? <laughs> well, I mean, it is like let's go. So that's He's two Dead hours ago. So I will use my two resolve points mm -hmm. that we did in sex in order to stabilize. Mm -hmm. Okay. If someone, please kill this thing before it kills me. Okay. Uh, so that is my turn. here's the other thing. Can you also, on the same turn, spend to get one HP? Um, right. Right. Uh, so, so no, that's a separate turn. You have to start your turn. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, Fair. Okay. Well, I did try. Um, it was worth asking. Um, Long-term stability. Uh, interesting. Yeah, you can't spend resolve points to stabilize and to stay in the fight in the same round. Okay. Does that mean you could have made a con save and then chose to spend to stabilize, or do you need to? Just I'm just asking if that's a thing um, in this. Uh, I don't think there's a con save thing at all, anyway. Uh, there is it about is. the long term stability. There is. Like if you are unconscious and stable but lack the resolve points to stay in a fight, there is a chance oh, yeah. you'll eventually re recover on your own after an hour elapses. You can attempt a constitution check, blah 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 blah. Yeah. But it's got nothing to do with this, that's fine. Yeah, uh, just a situation where you're laying there in a hallway, but no I, one's around. I'm trying my best to make sure you, you know you just don't die. Um, but I wish I knew where we had these out there was. That's fine, don't worry about it, buddy. Don't worry about it, these things are. Really uh, <laughs> right, uh, is it good? Okie dokie, I take it I can't see through this wormhole that's just appeared in front of me. Uh, it doesn't oh, say anything uh, it doesn't say anything about line of sight, but why not? You could probably see an unconscious Lyco. Oh. Okay, right, that's one movement uh, uh. I hear somebody scampering up behind me. Okay, I'm myself. gonna I'll just I'll just um You probably don't, it's quite quiet. I'll dash through the soldier the wormhole. Me. You can't because there's no space to be on the other side. Is there not? Okay, so no. I can just stand on the other end of this wormhole, or I can stay here. You just shove your horn through and pull him through. <laughs> I mean, you could just walk up, right? Or you can't because you don't have a. Unless you've got a quick action heal, or a ranged okay. heal. Okay. Um. He would ask lad in front of me, and it makes life a lot easier. They can't see him. I can't see it because you put a portal. big portal in front of me. <laughs> or a wormhole, even. Mm -hmm. You see now why the wormhole questions were very important. Um, mm -hmm. Could I just throw a radiate into the... No. Um, <laughs> this is a radiator. There's not very much I can do. Nope. Can't even. Can't even. Can't you can't heal. You can't even heal a cam. Um. Hmm. I don't have remove wormhole either. <laughs> uh, I can't cast through the wormhole. I mean, a, a big enough bomb will cast remove wormhole. A big enough bomb. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Because if you kill Zora, the wormholes will go away. So. <laughs> also, these should also be in a tracker. Why don't we track these things? God damn it. Um, uh, wormhole. On that. And then this is probably four. And I'll put you there. Okay, right. From the outside of the ship that I saw when I was coming like, in, are mm. there any... Hmm. 
Wait, can't you pass Are there any allies? windows near me? Or can't you can't you pass through allies? Where would he be able to pass through allies? Be able to like, go here, like go through the ball, and like, ah. go round. Like, no, because there's like, a squeeze, right? Nope. No, because you have to hold on. Uh, is, was it that bit? Um, transports the creature to a square adjacent to the to the duplicate. I mean, it says you can just continue movement and go through the other side. It's just no different than passing an ally. No, like so. What what Zora is saying does make sense to me, and I would say that is sensible. But there's no space to do that. You can't stand in those other two sections. Isn't that like no a chair? It's a you small guy sitting like, sitting at a desk chair. and you know negotiating combat and free attacks and such are two different things. So no, you can't it's go that way. Chair, though. Nope, you cannot, because that's half a console as well. This is why, I, like, Lyca was in this position in the first place, because of the space limitations. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're either gonna move again, or you're gonna do something as an action. How, 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 would I know how close to the hull of the ship is this, and how likely am I able to bust through it? Unlikely, depending on what okay. you hit it with, and uh, it's the outside, at the other side of that. Yeah, that's fine, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> it may bother others. <laughs> Like you're you're dying, so well. Yeah, but then they've got ragdolled. Then they've got ragdolled through the ship, though. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean this is not a good idea. Let me just be upfront with that. Ironically, <laughs> they would for four more turns. They've got ragdolled repeatedly. In fact. Yeah, I mean, this is just no 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 offense, Gal. This is dumb. <laughs> um. This is like casting magnify gravity on a party instead of healing them in a really dodgy combat. Oh yeah, um, yeah, Scott. <laughs> it's a, it's like it's like the end of Alien Resurrection. No, all your no. Let let Callum make his move because, come on, what are you doing, uh, Callum? You know what? Okay, right. Seeing as I can't really do much of anything, uh, I'm just gonna cast reflecting armor on myself. Okay, cool. Right, weird. Oops. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to do the noble thing and try and clear the pathway. Okay. Or which I mean, full attack this guy in front of me. Okay. Cool. Punch! Oh, it's Crit. All look, the damage. Look at that! Look at that! Punch. Look at that damage! Imagine that somehow missed. <laughs> oh. Imagine they had concealment. God, that would be heartbreaking. I was just... <laughs> Log out Discord. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's the wrong one I wanted to click. Uh, they hit them anyway if they had a uh, concealment. Uh, so, anyway, the um, yeah, like the thing does not look great at all now. Still standing though, somehow. Loads of like you know what's left of it just seems to be like oozing red foam. Okay. Well, that's my turn. Okay. We're bam, and we're bam, and we're back at the top of the list. So I say we just. Draw a line under that there, and we'll see what happens next time on Starfinder, Star the fragments Star of this ship. Starfinder of fragments of ship rolls. It's just, this is just, the game is now just called the decks of the Kivalari. Um, so, let us name the session. What would you just like to call this? Ship rolls. No. What's the fuck? No. No, no profanity, please, in the old uh, titles, if possible. Uh, uh, to fuck. Okay. Less than adequate. Yeah, I mean, can I suggest we type it this way though? Death uh, 
as like a matter of fact statement. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like yeah, I, I'm I'm a vote for that personally, but yeah, I'm a, I'm open to other suggestions, right? We seem to have a muted Colin. Okay. Um, you no longer have a muted Colin. Excellent. Oh, no. Thank you for this. Any um, suggestions as to titles, buddy? I mm, no, I really don't. Okay, Nico. Uh, I can't think it. Death effects is it's fine. <laughs> it's, it's a fine name. It's a mighty fine name. I mean, it, it sums up the, the <clears throat> session. I mean, are we spelling it the way it should be spelled with an e, or are we spelling it this way as a death effect? Uh, slowly I'm nods. Going. <laughs> yeah. Clearly. Okay, I'll pop that in. That was a title. Uh, right, goals. F effects. Um, Talk me through what was completed. No. <laughs> yep, I think that's fair. <laughs> Nothing. Yep, no. Yep, that thing was achieved. So, no yeah. talk. <laughs> no. Yeah. Talk me through. What you want to change, if anything? Uh, I think probably the grey really. Yeah. Going down the shitter. At least they lived up to their reputation. Even if not in yeah. their ability to actually like take you guys out, <laughs> they were able to just not be caught up and shit. Slippity bastards. It's just their supernatural ability is phase. So it's just a perma version of what Alex has got for his armor. And that's what yeah. gives them 20% concealment as well. I need to get that. It's good. Like, just tape yourself <laughs> with greys. Yeah, that's my <laughs> That's disgusting, but yeah, just a grey wetsuit over the, the large armor. Oh, no. Like some horrible grey con. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, right, I still see five goals sitting here, though, guys. It's got a lot of the crew. I mean, still after related, but it's going to be hard. Yeah. Oh. Turns out we are the. We were the crew. <laughs> and we're now dead. Um, yeah. Okay. You're fine. Let's do this more. Methodically then. Goal one, is it staying? Staying. Goal two, is it staying? I think it should. Okay. I don't know what to replace it with. I have to admit. And you do have a list of goals at the side. When in doubt, burn down Google, right? Anyone else got any thoughts on goal two that you want to vocalise swiftly? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <that's> good. <laughs> So, are we getting rid of it then, guys? I'm committed to my grey. <laughs> right. All he's done is phase out the ship, I can follow him. I mean, I feel like you maybe missed a lot more than that, then. <laughs> if that's what you think happened. So, yeah. I okay. saw it phase out. Okay. I always go on the dead like that. Okay. The double dead like that. That's fair. Yeah, double dead like was the worst kind of like Um Yeah. Probably not. Double dead like. So, is goal to. We seem to have conflicting opinions here then. So we've got one for get rid of, we have one for keep. So, Zig and Zora. If you really want to chase your grey, you can keep one chasing your grey. Okay, so. I always got nothing else to put in there right now. Okay, so that's, that's, that's two for getting rid of it. I can't think of anything to play, replace it with. Well. Nothing at all you just want to do in this game, even if it's longer term, like... So far my focus is on don't die. That seems fair. Mm -hmm. I mean, could be a goal, I would mm -hmm. die. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a very long term goal. Yeah. Okay, goal three. Is it staying? Uh, yeah, at least for the moment. If we manage to complete goal one, hopefully goal three should be. Oh, Zora enough. stops uh, engaging in constellation blasts. Maybe there'll be stuff to save. Um, mm, there's probably got to be more constellation blasts yeah. now, to be honest. I mean, I think life is better than. 
Yeah. Ship parts. Goal four, I assume, staying based purely on yeah. that's the reason you're here. I would think one, three, and four. Mm -hmm. Go hand in hand. Five. Um. Maybe something like that's where someone jumps in and goes, ah, here's a really good idea. Um, uh, I just have a really good time. Do you, brief, I do you brief the crew? <laughs> or what's left? <laughs> the good old debrief. About the crew, current, uh, oh. slash past, slash future affairs. <laughs> I mean, do you actually think there is something to debrief the crew about? Uh, no, but... Then I'm no, sure it's not a goal. <laughs> okay. um, Are you keeping that goal? Because I feel like we've already talked about that off-camera. I mean, we did, this is the Michael. thing. Like, I, feel like, I feel like we've com completed it or didn't complete it in... Um, I mean, you missed two sessions. This is on you, buddy. I, mean, I know something. Uh, this is on you. Um, so, and ultimately, really, you've had more time to think about goals because of that. You say that, <laughs> really? I, I mean, have I, I mean, I did say that. Any time to think about goals, but that's okay. Um, I mean, you had most of this session, watching them be murdered what? by zombies. You did good work, though, right? I wouldn't say bumbling. Like you did good. It's just a tough fight. You did great. It was very tough. Right, okay. I'm and again, 66 sessions to get somebody that. in the dying state, that's not bad. Um, let's make that right. And you got any suggestions know. for a fifth goal then? Anyone at all in general? I'm assuming no if we didn't have suggestions for a second goal. Rescue Lyco. <laughs> heal Lyco. I'm, I'm literally just typing Heal yeah. Lyco and G C F O. Oh, wow. I mean, I feel like things wow. you can just do in the game don't count as goals. I mean, that also requires like risk. I mean, surely everything that's a goal is something we can do in the game. You wanna, oh, you want to play that game, do you? Okay. Yeah. Well, let me put the, the yeah. semantics hat on. <laughs> no, no pedants allowed. Um, Away from the from right. I'm gonna I'm gonna just type yeah, over all this for you, right? I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna type over all of this, right? Okay. We're integrating. But that's regenerate. Uh, Close enough. Reintegrate. Yes. All right. <laughs> Because I feel like that's what you were kind of saying. And uh, we'll see how well that goes. Renege on the crew. <laughs> Degenerate the crew. Assimilate the crew. Yeah, whatever works. Good. Wrap up chat time. Let's start with Alex at the top of the list. Hi, team. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I mean, how often are you on the ropes like this, right, though? How often? Emotionally, or, uh, no, um, never emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> Very much every combat. Uh, <laughs> not, not you <laughs> specifically, <laughs> as a yeah, team. I, I don't like the feeling of being on what three HP now. Mm. Um, to be fair, though, you yeah. have taken a significant amount of damage and attacks, though. Like it's not like you oh, haven't yeah. done good work. Like this would have pasted lesser Vesk. Yep, mm. and the sustain from my healing. Mm -hmm. I'm really loving that, and my backup shields, mm -hmm. my backup backup shields, and yeah, um, I've got plans to add a third energy shield, nice, and and a physical shield at some point, nice, as well so, you should, yeah. Um, so we start, yeah but I think we just start calling you double A for a blade of armor eventually. Yeah. Um, um, but no, it's, quite it's the the major positive. Is that my therapist has been telling me that I need to find ways to feel and express anger. Okay. And looking at the death effect rules. Yeah. 
really. Oh. Yeah. God damn it, Pfizer. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. What? Let, let what it out, buddy. That? Let it out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I couldn't believe that when I was getting into like really not over things. It's like this is this isn't in here. Yeah. This is a rule that does not exist. Have you just noticed though, right? See the ones that we just kind of instinctively know that we don't really question when we're using them. Yeah are the easiest to understand, right? So we've obviously read them once, possibly, like, you know, two years ago, and we've never had to reread it. But see the ones that literally make zero sense, so when we go, oh, we'll just do this, okay, and then it takes us down the rabbit hole of yeah. terror, and we go, I never want to read this again. I'm actually surprised there wasn't any overlap between the death effects and the disease rules. Mm. I'm really surprised. Oh, diseases don't cause death effects, <laughs> <laughs> All game <laughs> designers know that. Um, <laughs> One yeah. sometimes does, and I love that. It's so dumb. Yeah, it's <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, so that was just aspirating. Yeah, um, let's get let's, let's get back to the RP section of this game where it was uh, fun. <laughs> it was nice getting Zig back. Um, Roll twenty was uh, messing with us. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. um, we need to upgrade our subscription clearly for mm -hmm. the best probability distribution. I mean, I think that Roll20 got confused at what Zora was looking for all the time. It was like, Roll D100. It's like, yeah, you want 99? It's like, no, no, this is the one time I don't want the four in a goddamn roll. There's <laughs> so many other games that could be fun. What oh. like goes one on three damage rolls? Mm. Uh, like in a row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, the session itself. The in-game stuff is all really, really fun. Like, uh, getting to bob up and mm -hmm. sum up the choices of whether to fuck off and leave like or not. There's also a nice poetry to every ending up in the bridge, right? Yeah. That's kind of nice. Um, i to a while. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much went through every wall but that one that I thought was funny. Um, yeah. I think it's where dynamic lighting really shines, though, right? Like, I think that is why it's... Um, it is worthwhile doing. It's the, the only upside from running running on like a physical table um, mm -hmm. is dynamic lighting because even if you cover rooms, people know rooms exist roughly because of what you've covered. So yeah, and this, unless you, I, I managed it once by covering rooms individually and then putting more sheets on top. Yeah, to obscure it. Yeah, yeah, that was difficult then to remove them though. And I think the other thing is, everybody can see it when you remove it, so the one person in that room, people can't help but meta game. Yeah. Going, I know yeah. he's in trouble, so maybe I'll go check on that guy. And I'll be honest, for the most part, I don't really care about that stuff. That's that's part of the game, right? Because I think when playing in person, usually you don't see a lot of the GM rolls, whereas I'm happy to roll openly for a lot of stuff. Um, so it's like swings and roundabouts and difficulty levels. Um, but yeah. Anything else you want to add, buddy? Nah. Except screw Paizo um, a couple of hundred times. <laughs> the, yeah, I'm going to have Paizo dreams. Stupid sexy Paizo. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been the title of the session. Stupid sexy Paizo. Sexy <laughs> Paizo. That is my feelings though, because of Starfinder. Like, it's like, it is dumb because Starfinder is such a fun thing to RP in, but it's so horrible to like roll in. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty system, but it's fucking mm. disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> it, it doesn't want to be played. That is what I've learned. <laughs> I need to walk away from it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the more I look at Pfizer's books, generally, it's like they seem fun for reading. Mm. Um, yeah, like they're definitely good and for the work. The law into other places. Oh like, yeah, I, one of the podcasts I listen to, they're running in D and D mostly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the GM regularly still suck in Pathfinder. Which I think is completely yeah. fine. If it, if, you, yeah. if it works, it works. Because I, I do think Paizo have an, an interesting way of thinking about stuff that does feel fresh from the D&D &D perspectives. That feel... Yeah. I don't know if it's because I've done a lot of D&D, &D, but it feels stale in a lot of places for me. Um, I think it's just they modernised a few things mm -hmm. um, in areas that D&D &D doesn't get away with modernising. Or do, because don't take the risks modernising, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, because goddamn, trying to get anything modern past the playtest. Yeah. Yeah. That's another. Yes, it is. That's a whole podcast. Um, yeah. Right. I uh, can recommend one on that. Nice. Um, uh, 
System Mastery did three episodes that together were called 69 Things I Hate About D&D. Uh, on- <laughs> Only? <laughs> uh, number one, the players. Number two, the GMs. <laughs> like, number three, uh, the fact that paladins can use shields as holy symbols and spellcasters can't use them as arcane focuses. Uh, yeah. That's one of my biggest pet hates about the system, actually. It's dumb. It's so dumb. I mean, there are a lot of problems with the <laughs> yeah. yeah, but anyway, um, uh, let's go to. Why not, Colin? Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm very frustrated by this turn of events. Understandably so. Um, obviously, uh, things improved over the course, but I think it became quite clear very early that the situation was not great. Um, yeah, it was it was largely a session of getting wailed on until other targets turned up to distract them. So that was, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think what we're f- we're really happy about is that that grade decided to be stupidly curious and run into the room. Um, I mean, yeah, that was that was that was, that was nice. That was handy. Uh, um, it helped. It helped. It was uh, mostly trying to drug you. I'm not gonna lie. It was definitely yeah. after trying to drug you after having scanned you. <laughs> it is. It's um. It provided a, a useful distraction. <laughs> then just went fuck this. I'm out and jumped through the yeah, wall. Yeah, we got the little scene with. Mhm. Um, interesting. Hmm. Um, but yeah, obviously it was a combat heavy session, and the combat was largely me getting the shit kicked out of me. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, slightly concerned for Lyco because I don't know, you know, what what might happen. Because potentially, I'm not saying it's likely that you know weird could go down, but say he did, then two of us down. How likely are the others, especially with <laughs> with Zig stuck in the hallway to actually be able to get in and help us before they <laughs> just, break. you know, it's. Mm-hmm. It's a situation that has, uh, yeah, it's concerning. It's a wormhole situation. Mm-hmm. I mean, arguably, right? Temptation for me would be, you could see out the view screen. So put a wormhole out there, then summon one behind the guy you're fighting, and say it's only them that can use it, and then push him. <laughs> it's true. Good luck. Like, I mean, arguably that's how I would, but again, it's because thinking with portals is where my brain goes for this, and the fact that you get to define what gets to go through the event horizon of the wormhole is nice. So, who knows? Who knows these things, right? Mm. Um, Maybe just strip them off the water right through, because they're stripping zombies. Right? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Uh, Sorry, continue, please. Go on. Um, No, I think that's about it, really. Okay. That was an easy segue into Nico. Really enjoyed rolling four ninety nines. I mean, it was <laughs> mashing, man. That was yep. good Makes that concealment feel worth it, doesn't it? Where did I put that concealment? Where did it go? Uh. <laughs> yeah, where did it go? <laughs> yeah, right. What the fuck? Uh, that was painful. Um, that was a painful session. It was a session of basically only everybody Pen. getting well done. Mm-hmm. Um, I've lost a lot of HP. Mm-hmm. I think <laughs> if I was gone, I'd be dead. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, yeah oh, that was fun. It was fun mm-hmm. playing cat and mouse with the, the, mm-hmm. the zombie and stuff. That was funny. Mm-hmm. So that I was funny. Try and get you. As it just like okay. swaggers up, shoots. Then you just fell apart and goes swaggers up, shoots. <laughs> yeah. It was very, like, dumb fun, and I loved that. It was good. And then, like, obviously having this grey running through different rooms trying to, like, pop shot you. It's basically not a good day about that unless I'd, like, <laughs> spent an action getting ready to shoot it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like, overwatching that shit, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, these things happen, buddy, you know. Um, I think we've just learned that greys are horrible. Um, yeah, we died. Yeah. I mean, it'd be alright if I wanted to kill them, right? If I, think, I actually wanted to kill it, mm-hmm. I'd be fine about just fucking nuking it. Like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, they're they're just horribly, like they're like mosquitoes, right? Like you know when they buzz around you, it's like trying to like swat them out the way. Um, yeah, that's not so good. Yeah, that's one add, buddy. No, no, that's good. Uh, fuck the one hundreds. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know that pain. Uh. Callum, welcome back. Hi. 
Oh. That was quite fun. It was nice to get in the game. I mean, man, death effects and <laughs> portals and no, uh, wow. Yeah. Um, it was nice to you know be thrown back in straight into Starfinder rules jank. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, you, you always, miss always, <laughs> always the good one. Um, but no, like I really enjoyed a, a lot of it. Um, I enjoyed watching the. <laughs> Seeing both aspects of the captain with his little wormholes just mm -hmm. talking about the place, causing mayhem up there, and then obviously poor Lyco's um, entrapment, mm. um, which is a bit, a bit, bit of a shame. Um, and it was nice to be back, and it was I, I, I just had to laugh at the the. Um, the wormholes appearing there, and I was like, I'm pretty sure we just said that we mm -hmm. can't go through that. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, that's funny, but that hurts. Like, I think if you're standing next to it, though, I'm pretty sure you like. I don't see why you couldn't just heal Lyco with touch if you need that, right? Because I feel like uh -huh. it's the equivalent of making them adjacent portal cell. So. Like, okay. Okay. Like I think you're meant to need to step through, and obviously you yeah, can so continue. That's what I was the but, case, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too fast. If you like, I feel like I'm happy with that, especially if it works both ways. So we'll see how that goes. Bye. I don't mind that at all. Because again, this game is difficult enough with like it trying to turn the GM against players, um, mm. especially with abstract rules um, in a system so specific about things. I actually think people that design the system, uh, the idea they thought they could get away with something abstract, they should be shot. Because this isn't a wibbly wobbly system that is like Dungeon World or 13th Age where they give you the scope to be vague. This is a system very specifically proud of its rules. Yeah, I was about to say, it's, it's not based around RP, it's mechanically based. It's, it's, mechanically it's based. also not a new system. Like, I don't care if they're saying, oh, Starfinder's new product. It's not. It's the child of like a massive lineage. I think that's mm. a problem, and I think that's probably the indie's problem as well. Otherwise, it's because it's got such a lineage, it'll barely change. Like mm. it'll change a bit. It'll like it'll change a bit. It'll maybe get a bit you know, user friendly or whatever. But it'll, like still always have its bits and bobs. Mm. And that. I agree. And it's mostly because if they change it too much, the fan base would probably be like, well, this isn't D&D &D anymore, what are you even calling it D&D &D for? Aye, like, so I but that's what people felt about 4th and 5th edition, so I'm excited to see what they do with 6th edition, when it's just, you get a D20 and it just says, cool, make a character, and that's it, no rules. Can't wait for 6 Um So, <laughs> any other thoughts? Um, Ziggather? No, it was, it was nice to be back, mm -hmm. um, and it's nice to talk to everybody. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. On that note as well, we'll need to have a wee chat um, at some point through the week to fill in some of the blanks with a bit more detail. So we'll need to schedule that in at some point so we can get yeah. you... Because um, you know you're going to be asked a whole bunch of questions by this lot if they're still able to oh, talk. So, yeah. Um, we'll we'll cover that. Explosions are on the menu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just sets the auto-destruct on the key of allow. Well, we had a good run. Bye. <laughs> Boom. Um, yeah, that was good. Probably not it's extreme. Anything else you want to add, buddy? Sorry, did I ask that already? I think I asked you that already. Um, yeah, no, I don't think so. Uh, rules, wormholes, and fun. Yes, that, that's, that covers it. Sounds like this game, to be honest. So, yeah, yeah, that's a good summary. It should just be the final thoughts, really, of the whole game, right? <laughs> just rules, wormholes, and fun. Um... Yes, well thanks everybody for playing. Uh, say goodbye everybody because we're done. Goodbye everybody. Goodbye, everybody. We're done.